so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Reporting live from Hawaii Children's Discovery Center in Honolulu, Hawaii. Wow, what a beautiful day. Aloha, it's me, Blippi, and today we have a special report. Yeah, on jobs and professions. Are you excited to learn about jobs and professions? Me too, let's go. <laughs> Do you hear that? Yeah, that's a siren. There must be a fire around here, come on. Whoa! Yeah, we need to act like a firefighter so then we can put out the fire. Okay. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, my firefighting hat. Whoa! And then you would wear these clothes to help protect you. Oh, and look at the fire truck. Wow, do you see this ladder? Yeah, that's how firefighters climb really high. Yeah, they use ladders. Wow, I love fire trucks. Oh, and look down here. This is where you connect the water to the fire truck. You know where you connect it from? Yeah, a fire hydrant. Whoa, cool. But this fire hydrant actually has a hose connected to it. Whoa, yeah. Whoa, yeah. I'm spraying so much water. Wow, firefighters love to spray water. Yeah, because then it puts out the fire. Yeah. That's on the building. All right, let's put this back. There we go. And then what we need to do is we need to drive the fire truck. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, yeah, whoa. I love driving fire trucks. Whoa, they're so big. Whoa, and the sirens. Yeah, and the lights. Wow, being a firefighter would be so cool because you know you get to help so many people. Whoa, all right. <laughs> oh, check this out over here. All right, here we go. Perfect. Now that the lug nuts are off, we can remove the wheel and tire. You know what shape this is? Yeah, a circle. All right, let's go replace it with this brand new one over here. All right, wow, a nice brand new one. And then we need three lug nuts. One, two, three. Wow, that last tire was flat, but this one is nice and pumped up. All right, let's put it right here. Ooh, being a mechanic is hard work. <laughs> All right, let's start the lug nuts just like this. All right, there's one, here's two, and then the last one. So what you do is you barely put it on, just with your hands like that. And then you take this, and this tightens them up. Wow, that was so much fun acting like a car mechanic. Wow, shall we keep exploring? Let's go. Whoa, your town bank. Yeah, many towns have banks. Let's go act like we're a bank teller. <laughs> bank tellers sit down right here and then wait for people to deposit or to take out money. You can act like one of those people. Oh, hello, how can I help you? Oh, you would like some money? All right, hold on, let me access your account. Here you go. <laughs> Have a good day. Wow, I love acting like a bank teller. All right, I'll be right over. Whoa, hey, now I can act like I'm a worker. Yeah, at just a store. Yeah, and I just went to the bank. Now I gotta go to my job. All right, yeah, I'm a grocery worker. Whoa, yeah, also known as a grocer. <laughs> All right, I'm at work now. <laughs> oh, come into the grocery store. Whoa, shall we get some groceries? Oh yeah, how about some peaches? What a yummy fruit. <laughs> Ooh, and pineapple. Wow, I love pineapple. It is so sweet, such a yummy fruit. Yeah, and they grow a lot on Hawaii, which is one of our states in America. Okay, I think this is enough. Wait, maybe we should get a vegetable. Oh, yeah, like a head of lettuce? Okay, ooh, 
and some pears. Yum! Maybe we should go check out. Yeah, so then I can act like a cashier at a grocery store. All right, we have some peaches. We have green beans. Ooh, the pineapple. Okay, a couple more. Woo, and we have the pears. <laughs> yeah, very healthy. And we also grabbed the lettuce. <laughs> also very healthy. All right, and your total. Whoa, that's a big number. <laughs> cool. And the person that bags all these up is the courtesy clerk. So then they can give you the groceries that you got and then you can go home. Well, it's the end of my shift. So maybe I'll go explore and see what other professions and jobs we can find. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa, I need to mail off this letter. All right, see you later. <laughs> Have a fun journey. <laughs> Wait a second. Post office workers are very important. They make sure mail and packages go from one location to the next. What a challenging job that is. But hey, why don't you and I act like a post office worker? <laughs> All right, first things first, we have to dress like one. Check out my hat, yeah, keeps the sun out from my face while walking around town picking up the mail. Oh, and then I'll wear this shirt. Yeah, now I'm looking like a post office worker, right? Yeah, the best post office in the world is me. And my name's Sean. <laughs> All right, and look at this. This is what I collect my mail in. All right, let's walk over here and Let's open this up. Whoa, look at all those letters. All right, let me collect them. All right, and as the post office worker, now we need to take them inside and put them in the bag. All right, here we go. Whoa, now I look official, right? All right, so let's put them in the bag and then we can deliver them around town, across the country or the world. Wow, what an important job that is, right? I know, anything physical that goes from point A to point B, yeah, is gonna be delivered as a post office worker if you send it in the mail. Wow, hey, and here it is. Yeah, the veterinarian's office needs their mail. Here it is. <laughs> All right, you folks enjoy. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun acting like a post office worker. And speaking of fun jobs, why don't you and I act like a veterinarian? Wow, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> All right, check it out. Now we're in the vet's office. Yeah, vet is short for veterinarian. Oh, and check it out. This is what they wear. Yeah, doesn't it look like a nurse? or a doctor's outfit? Yeah, because that's what they do, but they do that for animals. Wow, what an important and fun job. Oh, speaking of fun. Oh, hey kitty, hey kitty. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, so cute. Why are you here? Oh, you're here because you have an upset stomach? Oh, well, I'll help you out. Oh, and do you have a dog friend? Oh, look at the dog friend. Oh, they love playing with each other. Oh, all right, let's help the kitty out. All right, let's put the kitty right here. Oh, and then it looks like we have, wow, look at this, and look at this, and look at this. A lot of tools that veterinarians use. Okay, there we go. Looking inside the ears, the eyes, the nose. What else do we have here? Whoa, these don't look like they're for kitties. <laughs> well, we won't use those. I definitely will use this though. Let's see here. Okay, here you go, kitty. Oh, how does that feel? Oh, we helped the kitty. Now its tummy feels a lot better. Okay, we'll put the kitty right over here. Oh, and check out these. Yeah, do you know what these are? Yeah, dog bones. Dogs love these. Remember our friend from earlier? <laughs> Let's see if he wants one. Hey, doggy, here you go. Oh, wow, that was so much fun acting like a veterinarian. Wow, I sure do love different types of jobs. They're so fun. Whoa, was 
Wasn't that so much fun? I know, I had a great time. And hey, did you know a TV reporter is another job and profession? Yeah, they talk about the weather, they talk about the news. Hey, yeah, the news today is we had so much fun. <laughs> wow, isn't it cool how different jobs do different things in town to make things run? And every job is very important. Great, I wonder what you're gonna be when you grow up. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. Aloha. <laughs>
I want to make it really special, colorful, and big. Think you can help me? You came to the right place. Let's get started. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, check it out! <laughs> Michelle, there's so much paper here. <laughs> Whoa, we can definitely make a cool card out of this. Hmm. Well, what color should I choose? Uh, I really like yellow. Whoa, yellow. Ooh, I like it too. <laughs> Look, yellow paper and green paper. Ooh. Blue. Blue. <gasps> Orange. Orange paper. <laughs> but I think we should make this card out of yellow. Yeah. Hmm, my friend Jacob, he wrote me a letter. He wanted me to have the best summer ever. Yeah, and yellow kind of reminds me of summer. So bright and the color of the sun. <laughs> yes, it is. Do you want to decorate it? Oh, yeah, that would be awesome. Okay, so what do we have to decorate it with? Here <laughs> are some supplies. Whoa, <laughs> look, crayons. Oh, yeah, we can draw on our card. Whoa, we can go swirls. <laughs> Whoa, or maybe we're at the beach for summer. Yeah, we're enjoying some waves. Whoa, <laughs> a lot of waves. Whoa. <laughs> hmm. Maybe glitter glue. Ooh, glitter glue. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! That's a lot of glitter. We can also Ooh. add paper. Whoa! Maybe we can Tear use the paper it. and Ooh, look some pom poms, <laughs> and we can use the glitter glue to put all these pom poms and paper on our card. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, well, Michelle, you're good at that. I love these pom-poms. I have an idea. <laughs> Let's put some more on. Whoa. <laughs> and then we can make it rain pom-poms. We can Whoa. even make it rain more glitter. <gasps> Check it out. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Here we go. I think they're stuck. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Well, we have green pom-poms. Maybe we need some yellow pom-poms and blue pom-poms. I <laughs> think so. You can take the blue and I'll take the yellow. Here we go. Whoa! Oh my God. Whoa. This is one colorful and sparkly letter. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Next, I think what hmm. we need to do is fold it like a card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's fold it in half. Well, Blippi, don't you want to have the decoration on the outside so then you can write on the inside? Oh, yeah, that makes That's sense. That's okay. <laughs> Here, we'll flip it the other way. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're going to have to put some of those pom-poms back on. That's okay. Yeah, when you're making a craft, it can get really messy, and that's the fun of it. <laughs> Whoa. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if we can stick some of these pom-poms back on. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there was eleven. Eleven. <laughs> Whoa, this is looking good, but I think we need to put just a few more decorations on it. Do you know what always reminds me of the beach? Hmm. The sun, which we can cut out of this. Whoa. Hmm. Do we have any scissors? We do. Whoa. <laughs> and Whoa. these. Whoa, and remember, if you're ever using scissors or something sharp, you always want to ask a grown-up. <laughs> but look at these, yeah. See, the scissors' teeth are all different shapes. So when you cut it, <laughs> it makes it really wiggly. <laughs> Let's make the best sun ever. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Uh-oh, <laughs> the pom-poms fell off. But that's okay. We still have a lot of sequins and we have a sun. <laughs> I think this is gonna be the perfect card for Jacob. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> Our card decoration looks great. Yeah, <laughs> but it's blank. Yeah, we need to write a letter for Jacob. Hmm, and I know just what to say. <laughs> okay, hmm, here we go. I'm gonna use a purple crayon. <laughs> Dear Jacob, thank you for your letter. 
I am having a great summer. I hope you and Ava have a great summer, winter, spring, and autumn. Your friend. <gasps> Wait, do you want to know how to write your name in a fancy way? I would love to. Yeah, you have to sign your name at the end of a letter, but if I could do it in a fancy way, <laughs> I think it would make it extra special for Jacob and Ava. B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Flippy. <laughs> Whoa. Well, we finished the letter to Jacob and we decorated the outside. So I think we're almost done, but we're missing one thing. Hmm. An envelope! Oh yeah! When you send a letter, you need an envelope. Yeah, you don't want to just send a letter because maybe your decorations might get messed up. <laughs> you don't want that. And an envelope has the address. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Which There's one? a brown envelope. Hmm, I like this. But this is a really big orange envelope. <laughs> and since orange is one of my two favorite colors, I think this will be perfect. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Open up the envelope. Ooh, thanks, Michelle. You're welcome. And put in the letter. Whoa! <laughs> Ooh. There we go. <laughs> well, we finished the letter, we have an envelope, and I even signed my name in a really fancy way. <laughs> but I feel like we need to do something super special for Jacob. I wish there was something fun we could make to put in the envelope. Hmm. <laughs> I know a craft we could make. Oh, a craft! <laughs> that would be awesome! Okay. I'll show you the way. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Whoa! I am so excited to make a craft to put into the envelope. But Michelle, what are we gonna make? We're gonna make a string illustration. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> it's so pretty! Yeah, illustration is just a really big name for drawing. But we're gonna use String, whoa! <laughs> so what do we need to make this string illustration? We need string, Ooh. glue, scissors, <laughs> and a piece of paper to glue it onto. Oh, it's also colorful. Well, first, let's pick out a sheet of paper. Hmm, green, blue, red? Hmm, what color do you like? I like green. Okay, <laughs> let's use the green then. Whoa, we have enough string for sure. <laughs> wow, look at it all. Ah, string party. <laughs> okay, so we have a lot of string, but now we need to put it on the paper. Hmm, and we need to decide what are we gonna make? Hmm. 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 Maybe it could be something orange. Maybe it could be something fun and blippy. Hmm. What do you think we should make? Glasses! <laughs> yeah! Let's make a string illustration of blippy glasses. Okay? <laughs> so Yay. we're gonna need a lot of orange string. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we have a lot of other string too that we can use for maybe a background or a flower <laughs> or fun decorations. Um, so what do we do first? Draw with the glue. Ooh! <laughs> okay, so I got some glue and let's draw a picture of my glasses. Check it out, blippy glasses, yeah. yeah. Whoa. <laughs> okay, and now that we have the glue, we can start making it. Yeah, <laughs> all you gotta do is just place it on top. Whoa, you're really good at that. Oh, great teamwork, look, Whoa. I started it. And, and I ended it. it. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Yeah, I think we can fill in the center of the eyes and maybe even add a background too. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whoa! Michelle, you did a great job putting the glue on the outside and we cut a lot of extra string. It's time for the string party. Are you ready? One, two, three, whoa! <laughs> Look at it go, whoa! And then you wanna pat it down so that it all gets nice and stuck on the paper. <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> Whoa, this is so cool. Well, Michelle, this was such a fun craft. <laughs> okay. And I think Jacob's gonna love it when he finds it in the envelope. <laughs> Ooh, this is so fun. <laughs> string 
illustration. It's so pretty. <laughs> Michelle, you did a great job with all the glue. Oh, thanks, you did a great job with all the string. Aw, oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, and that reminds me. Now that the glue is dry, we can put it in the envelope. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're very welcome. Ooh. <laughs> we did it! We finished the letter and the craft. <laughs> oh, but there's one more thing. When you write a letter, you want to make sure you write the address on the envelope. <laughs> yeah, an address is kind of like directions for the mail carrier. Yeah, so they know exactly where to send the letter. <laughs> yeah, and the world is really big. Whoa, there's so many cities and countries. Whoa! <laughs> So you want to make sure you put the name of whoever you're sending the letter to. And you want to make sure you put their street number and street name on the letter. <laughs> oh, and the area that it's going. <laughs> hmm. But before we put an address on the envelope, I feel like we're missing something. Hmm. Maybe we can find something else in the store. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. <laughs> well, let's explore. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, check it out! Another clue! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Michelle, I found another clue! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Maybe this will tell us what we're missing. <laughs> Once your letter is ready to send, a stamp will take it to a friend! A stamp! <laughs> we were missing a stamp. Ooh. Michelle, do you have a stamp I could have to put on the letter? I do, we keep our stamps in the back. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go explore, see if I can find a stamp. Thanks so much for all your help. You're welcome and good luck. See you later. Bye. Let's go. Whoa, look, there's a person working over there. Hmm, I bet they could help me find a stamp. Come on. <laughs> Hi, Hello. I'm Blippi, what's your name? Bill. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Bill. I'm a stamp collector. A stamp collector? Whoa, whoa, we've been looking for a stamp. And what's that? That's my stamp collection. Whoa, could I see? Yes, lots whoa. of really beautiful stamps. Whoa, look at all the stamps. They're so beautiful, but Bill, I had a question. Why do we need stamps? Well, you have to have the stamp to pay for the letter to go to where you want to send it. Oh yeah. Yeah, you need to pay for the letter when you get it delivered in the mail. So a stamp, that's how you pay for it. <laughs> but it sure is a fun way to pay for it because look at how pretty they are. Oh, are these all different animals? Yes, yes, Ooh. a lot of different animals, some baby animals. Aww. <laughs> full size ones. Whoa, check it out. Some baby. And some butterflies. Butterflies moths. and puppies. <laughs> and Ooh. some fish. Whoa, <laughs> well these stamps, they look kind of old. Well, they are pretty old from the 1950s. Oh, the 1950s, that is old. <laughs> well, what's the oldest stamp that you have? I have even older ones. I have a stamp from 1860. 1860? Whoa, that was over a hundred years ago. <laughs> Whoa, they're pretty neat. Really and old. Bill, you're a stamp collector. Do you need any tools for collecting stamps? You do, you have to have tongs so you can pick up the stamps without Ooh. touching them with your hands because your hands have grease on them Ooh. and you don't want to get that grease on the stamps. Ooh. You mind if I try using the tongs to pick up a stamp? You could do it. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Tongs, and we want to be very gentle because stamps, they're delicate, right? Yes, they are. Okay. So you have to be careful. Ooh. Is that a little pony? Or yes. a little horse? Yeah, a pony. Whoa, look, we picked up the pony stamp and we didn't use our hands because that could Damage the stamp. Yeah, we don't want to do that. I'm just going to put it back there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you'll, let, you'll let me do that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, and Bill, what's that over there? This is a magnifying glass. Oh. You can look at a stamp and see a close up. Whoa, yeah, stamps can be so you, small. <laughs> you can see the details. Yeah, sometimes they're hard to read, but other times you can find little flaws on the stamps that make it more valuable. Whoa, that's so interesting. So if you have a a magnifying glass, it's easier to spot that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, can I see some of your other stamps? Yes, here we go. Oh, look! <laughs> Little bunnies. It's a puffin! <laughs> yeah. Oh, and what are those over here? These are some airmail stamps from Greece issued about 1930. Whoa, Very 1930? beautiful set, very beautiful. Whoa, airplanes! <laughs> yeah! Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. 
you could have a mail delivered by airmail and have a stamp of an airplane on it. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> Whoa, and are there some other stamps too we could see? There's some more over here. It's stamps of birds? Yes. And it has someone's name on it. Well, that's the man who designed the cachet. That's the picture on the stamp. He's a friend of mine and he autographed it for me. Ooh. And then he made this fantastic <laughs> envelope that opens out with all the birds on it. And these are his caricatures. He's a cartoonist and he does the cachets, which is the picture. Whoa, that's amazing. Yeah, those are American songbirds. They're birds that like to sing. La, 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 la. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> and it's so cool to know that there are different artists, and designers that help make stamps. <laughs> Seems like a hard job. <laughs> yes. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Well, Bill, I have a letter that I was trying to mail and I need a stamp. Do you think you have a stamp for me? I do. I do. You can't use these, but mm -hmm. you, you could use another stamp that I have. Yeah, you don't want to use a stamp that's valuable or really old. Mm -mm. <laughs> you can just use new stamps for that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, look, some stamps. <laughs> Here we go. Here's some stamps. You can use those, huh. those stamps to mail your letter. Huh, thanks, Bill. <laughs> You're welcome. Some stamps. See what it says. A mailbag takes letters the rest of the way, find its hideout, look around in the place where you play. Hmm, that's a pretty tricky clue, but I'm sure we can figure it out. <laughs> well, Phil, thank you so much for showing me your collection and teaching me all about stamps. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, I'll see you Glad later. Glad to talk to you. <laughs> Woo, let's go. <laughs> looking for the mailbag. Yeah, that clue was pretty tricky. Hmm, a mailbag takes letters the rest of the way. Yeah, we need the mailbag. <laughs> find its hideout, look around in the place where you play. What we need to find a mailbag in a hideout that is a place where you play. <laughs> well, today we're here at Hideout Indoor Playground in Thousand Oaks, California. Hideout Indoor Playground? Hey, that's a hideout where you play. Hmm, <laughs> I bet we can find a mailbag in here. <laughs> I can't wait to start exploring. But before we go inside, we need to take off our shoes. Hmm. <laughs> oh, check it out. There are some cubbies here. Yeah, look, the little hedgehog. <laughs> okay, here we go. One shoe. Two shoes. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, and I almost forgot, we rode a bicycle here. So we have on knee pads and our elbow pads. So we need to take those off too. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, now we're all ready to go inside. Oh, need to find a mailbag. Come on! <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. <laughs> So cool, yeah. Look, these little buildings look like a real hideout. <laughs> Maybe for a secret agent or a spy or a really great place to play hide and seek. <laughs> Come on. Oh, look at what it is. <laughs> Aw, look, it's a cute little pony. Hello. <laughs> hey, did you know that ponies used to deliver mail too? Yeah, on the Pony Express. <laughs> Ooh, let's go for a ride. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Ooh, I'll leave my letter with the pony. <laughs> I'll see you later, pony. Ah. <laughs> Whoa! And do you see what this is? <laughs> Whoa! It's so sparkly. Ooh! 
and it's smooth? Oh, I know what this is. This is a dance floor. <laughs> you know what I love to do? Dance party. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ooh, and you know what goes really good with dance parties? Music. Oh, do you see what's behind me? <laughs> yeah, musical instruments. Hmm, maybe we can go play them. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. All these instruments. Yeah, they're percussion instruments. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> and they're really loud. Ooh. Yeah, these are called percussion instruments. Yeah, a percussion instrument is an instrument that you make noise by hitting it. <laughs> Whoa, and these make a lot of noise. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, you see, I'm using drumsticks to play the drum kit. A drum kit is really special because it has all kinds of drums. Well, yeah, four drums on this one, and it has cymbals. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh. Whoa! And look at these. Yeah, we have medium sized drums, we have big drums, <laughs> oh. and teeny tiny drums. These drums, you play with your hands. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, and they all sound so different. Yeah, the big drum is really low. <laughs> the medium drum is pretty medium. And the tiny drum is really high. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, drums are fun. <laughs> Wait a minute, what's this doing here? Whoa, hey. <laughs> do you know what instrument this is? Hmm, <laughs> yeah, this is a little piano. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, you can use your fingers to hit the keys of the piano and it makes different notes. <laughs> yeah, and the piano it's near all the drums because did you know that pianos are percussion instruments too? Yeah, because you use your hands and you hit the keys. Check it out! <laughs> it's a little mailbox! <laughs> it's so small and cute. <laughs> Ooh, let's see if there's some mail inside. <laughs> Whoa, look! It's really colorful mail. Hmm, there's orange, green, yellow, blue. <laughs> Ooh, that's kind of like a reddish color. And pink. <laughs> Ooh, well, we better keep those in the mailbox. Oh! And look at this. <laughs> Looks like someone's trying to send a little car in the mail. <laughs> oh, and guess what that mailbox is in front of? <laughs> a little house. A little mailbox for a little house. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. There are numbers on the house. Yeah, that's the first part of an address. Yeah, you need the street name and the number. You say the numbers with me. One, two, three. This house is so tiny. Oh, a little chair and a little house. Hmm. A little unicorn in a little house. <laughs> Whoa, that's so cool. This is such a little place with so many little things. 
Ooh, look, you have such a nice horn, unicorn. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> Whoa, come on. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's the hideout. I bet the mailbag's in there. Well, let's go find out. <laughs> oh, here we go. Whoa! I don't see it anywhere. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa, check it out! Slides! A yellow slide and a red slide. <laughs> Whoa! Let's go down the really fast red one. Here we go! Whee! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> check it out! You see what this is? It's a helicopter. No way. <laughs> you see what it is under the slide? Whoa. <laughs> it's a pirate ship. Whoa. <laughs> oh, and it has the anchor, so doesn't move around when it's in the sea. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, did you know that some mail is transported by boats? Whoa! Whoa, look! Trains! Oh, you see what it is? It's a rock wall! <laughs> and there's some ropes. I think we can do it. Let's climb to the top. Here we go! Hello! Whoa! Look, the hideout has a steering wheel. Hmm, I didn't know you could drive a hideout. <laughs> Ring! Woo! Dee doo dee, boop 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 boop. So silly. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out. We're here in a food truck. I can wash my hands and cook some yummy food. <laughs> Woo! Here's your change. <laughs> Oh, it's time to go deliver some more food. Dinosaurs! <laughs> Look, it's a T-Rex. Ah! <laughs> and do you know what dinosaur this is? Hmm, it's a triceratops! <laughs> yeah! Because it has one, two, three horns! <laughs> uh oh! Look at what happened! Oh no! The dinosaurs broke the railroad tracks! <laughs> but that's okay. I think they were just playing. <laughs> oh, and we can put it back together. <laughs> we just need all the pieces. <laughs> one piece. Hmm. And two piece. And. Ooh. <laughs> We fixed it, <laughs> yeah. And maybe the dinosaurs, they wanna go for a ride. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> look at him <them> go. <laughs> Woo, <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, it's another dinosaur. <laughs> Just kidding, this is a friendly dinosaur. <laughs> Hey, do you have a favorite kind of dinosaur? Whoa, I like that one too. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Let's act like dinosaurs together. Do you know what sound a dinosaur makes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's roar together. <laughs> hmm, I think we can roar a little louder than that. Are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> Those were some really great and really loud roars. <laughs> but wait a minute, dinosaurs, they don't read the mail. Hmm. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> peekaboo. Well, we went down the red slide before, so now let's go down the yellow slide. <laughs> if the red slide is really fast. Maybe this slide is really slow. 
<laughs> that was pretty silly. <laughs> Whoa, check out what it is. Come on. <laughs> Whoa. And check out this wall. Do you see what's on it? <laughs> Whoa, a planet. <laughs> yeah, a planet is in space. Hmm. Whoa, and look, it's a space shuttle. Yeah, those are in space too. <laughs> Whoa, or a rocket. <laughs> Whoa, hey look, it's the moon. <laughs> yeah, they fly into space. Yeah, rockets fly into space to see planets, stars, things like that. <laughs> hey, you know what else flies? <laughs> yeah, birds fly. Woo! <laughs> Will you be a bird with me? Ka -ka, ka -ka, ka -ka, ka -ka. Whoa! <laughs> well, you're a pretty good bird. <laughs> hey, do you know what else flies? Airplanes! <laughs> Some paper. <gasps> Hands on paper airplane. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out. Whoa, this one looks so fast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you ever tried to make a paper airplane before? Whoa! <laughs> well, let's make one together. Okay. First, <laughs> if you have a table with some paper, yeah, you need a piece of paper and you want it to be this shape. Yeah, a rectangle. <laughs> yeah, has two sides that are the same and two sides that are a little bit longer. They're also the same size. <laughs> and then fold it up and it turns into paper airplane. <laughs> First, you wanna fold it like this. You wanna make sure it's still long. Fold it in the middle <laughs> and then you move your fingers to make it really flat. <laughs> then we want to take this piece of paper, yeah, kind of looks like a book <laughs> or a mouth. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> and then we want to turn it into a different shape. So we can take this corner and fold it in. Whoa. And then this corner and fold it in. <laughs> See these two little flaps? They're one, two triangles. <laughs> Whoa, now it kind of looks like, hmm, maybe a really, really big pencil? <laughs> hmm, or maybe like a house. Yeah, <laughs> we're just missing a door and windows. <laughs> hmm, this next part is a little tricky, so maybe a grown-up can help you, but I think you can do it. <laughs> we want to take this corner here and fold it into the center. So we'll take it there, <laughs> like this, and fold it into the center. <laughs> yeah, good job. Whoa, and then do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> Whoa. <gasps> Whoa, yeah, look at it now. Whoa, it's a really big triangle. <laughs> yeah, it has three sides. One, two, three. <laughs> hmm, but, this isn't an airplane yet. Hmm, hmm, Ooh, I know what to do. Yeah, first we fold it in half. Yeah, then we make the wings. So we take this part, and we fold it down. Then we take this part, fold it down again. <laughs> Whoa, this paper airplane is gonna fly so well and so fast. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Then you want to press it so it's nice and folded. <gasps> Whoa, look at it. It's a paper airplane. Yeah, when you throw it, you want to throw it really fast. <laughs> yeah, it flies through the sky. And I have a special trick that I like to do with all the airplanes that I make. Yeah, if you make an airplane like this, it will go flat. But if you take the ends of the airplane, Four little rips. One, two, 
three, four. <laughs> yeah. And then this flap goes down and this flap goes up. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> yeah, this plane looks so fast. And you see these little flaps we made? <laughs> yeah, this plane's gonna do a really good job of spinning. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Yeah, airplanes are really good at flying. And because they can travel so fast, they're also really good at delivering and carrying the mail. Yeah, these can carry mail. It's called air mail. <laughs> yeah, actually, did you know that mail, it can travel on a car or a truck or a boat or on a plane? <laughs> yeah, there are all different ways that you can deliver the mail. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> look at what it is. It's a map of the world and it's so big <laughs> and colorful. <laughs> Europe is orange, Asia is blue. <laughs> My two favorite colors. <laughs> and do you notice anything special about this map? <laughs> Animals! <laughs> yeah, there are so many kinds, like dolphins. <laughs> Whoa, look. Do you know what animal this is? It has a really long neck. <laughs> a giraffe. <laughs> yeah, there are animals that live all over the world and people that live all over the world too. What if you wanted to send a letter all the way from Australia to the United States? Whoa, that would be a really long trip. <laughs> yeah, there are so many ways to transport mail. One is with an airplane. Air mail. <laughs> But did you know that mail can travel in so many different ways? Yeah, there could be a mail carrier driving a car, <laughs> or mail on a train, or even on a boat. <laughs> yeah, because there are a lot of oceans. <laughs> but air mail is the fastest way for mail to travel. <laughs> you just need to know where to send it. From Africa to Asia. From Asia to Europe. To South America! <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I like all ways to transport mail, but air mail certainly is the fastest. <gasps> Whoa, <laughs> come on! <laughs> hey, it's my paper airplane, and look at what it is! <laughs> it's a mail bag! <gasps> Blippi's mail! <laughs> Whoa, this is what we were looking for. <laughs> and if this is a mail bag, that means this is the mail room. <laughs> Bet there's lots of mail here. Whoa, look at it. <laughs> there is so much mail here. It's so colorful. <laughs> well, in a mail room, there's so much mail that it needs to be sorted. <laughs> um, hmm. How do you think we could sort this mail? Hmm. There aren't any addresses on it. We can sort it by color. <laughs> we need to put all the yellow together, all the green together, all the blue, orange, pink, red. <laughs> sort all the colors. Okay, super blippy sorting powers go! <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Let's start with blue. Now yellow. <laughs> Don't want to forget green. <laughs> There's purple and pink. Now this reddish color. <laughs> We're almost done. <laughs> and last but not least, orange. <laughs> Whoa. We sorted all the mail. Oh, and this is certainly a lot of mail. Yeah, and look, we have numbers and letters. Yeah, so you can put an address on all the mail so the mail carrier knows where to take it. <laughs> Whoa, and stamps. <laughs> Whoa, and look, it's a crayon. So you can write a letter. <laughs> Dear Blippi, 
Thanks for being so silly! Woo! <laughs> well, well, now that we've sorted all the letters, we need to put it in the mailbag so they can be delivered. <laughs> okay, here we go. This was a lot of letters. <laughs> I'm getting really tired from all this sorting. <laughs> okay, we have our letters. Now let's put it back in the mailbag. <laughs> No way! <laughs> you wouldn't believe what's inside! <gasps> clue number four! <laughs> Let's read the clue. Oh. With all that you need for a very fine letter, your friend needs their mail. Will you send or deliver? Hmm. Wait a minute. Yeah, letters normally go in a mailbox. <laughs> kind of like this. Whoa! <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Has my name on it, too. Blippy mail! <laughs> we could put the letters in the mailbox. But wait a minute! I have a mailbag! Well, because I have this mailbag, maybe I don't want to send the letters. Maybe I want to deliver the letters! <laughs> yeah! Today, I want to be a mail carrier! Oh yeah! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, we can use our bike and our mailbag. We can deliver it ourselves! <laughs> I am so excited to deliver this letter. Oh, <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! Let's go. <laughs> Special. Jacob and Ava's house. We have the right address. <laughs> hmm, but now we need to find where to put the letter. Hmm. <laughs> oh. What are you doing, Blippi? Oh, hi, Jacob! Hi, Ava! Hi, Blippi! Look who it is! It's Jacob and Ava! Hi! <laughs> oh, Jacob and Ava, look! I wrote this letter just for you, and I was trying to put it in the letter box, but it's so big. Hmm. Why don't you just give it to us? Oh, <laughs> that's a great idea. Here you go. <laughs> 
And I wanted to say thank you so much for the letter you wrote to me. I had such a good time reading it. <laughs> you're welcome. Aw, you're welcome too. Well, I'll see you soon, okay? Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Woo. Mom, we got a letter from Blippi. <laughs> Whoa! I had so much fun learning all about mail. And it's so amazing how mail can travel. Yeah, you can send a letter and it can go all the way around the world. <laughs> yeah, and writing a letter is really fun too. Yeah, you can get creative and decorate it, even make a mess. <laughs> hey. Maybe you would like to write a letter today. You could write it to a friend or a relative. Just don't forget to write their name, address, and put a stamp on it. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika, and today I'm at Triple Play Family Fun Park in Hayden, Idaho. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. <gasps> What's that sound? Oh my goodness, look, it's a dinosaur. Whoa, are you a velociraptor? Whoa, wait, I heard about you. Are you Stanley? Can you show me some fun things to do inside Triple Play? Oh, awesome! Come on! Wow, there's water! Yeah! Oh, Stanley! Do you know those dinosaurs over there? Ah, hi! I'm Mika! <laughs> wow! Stanley, you're so nice to show me around! I love dinosaurs. <gasps> we should all act like dinosaurs. Can you help us? Okay, awesome. What's something a dinosaur does? Oh yeah, stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp like a dinosaur. Ooh, what's something else dinosaurs do? Oh yeah, they have really big and mighty roars. Let's roar together, ready? Oh, Stanley, I don't know if I could roar as loud as you. <laughs> What's something else that dinosaurs do? What? Dinosaurs dance? I didn't know that. Let's all dance together. Yeah, you got the move, Stanley. Okay, all right. <laughs> Aw, it was so nice meeting you, Stanley. Thanks for showing us how to be dinosaurs and taking us to this really cool space. I'll see you next time, buddy. Bye. <gasps> Whoa! Did you see how big his tail is? Stanley's so cool. I wonder what else is in here. Whoa! This place is really cool. I've never been in a space like this before. There's a huge pool. Whoa! Look at this. It's a raft. Do you know what shape this is? It's a circle. <laughs> and do you know what color it is? That's right, it's the color red. Good color. Alrighty, oh. <gasps> Let's get a closer look at Stanley's friends. Come on. Okay, let's sneak up on Stanley's friends. Hello! <laughs> oh, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Mika. Look, can you see their teeth? They have way more teeth than we do. And they're so, so sharp. They're carnivores. That means they like to eat meat. Whoa. These are velociraptors and they run really, really fast on their legs. 
Whoa, look how big and sharp that talon is. Whoa, can you imagine if you had those on your toes? It would be really hard to wear sneakers if your toenails were like that. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. Whoa! <laughs> Look at this! It's like a water playground. They call it the Children's Lagoon here. Oh! Look at that yellow slide! That would be so fun because you can land in the water and get all wet. <laughs> wow! Whoa! See how the floor is painted different colors? I see yellow, there's blue, oh, and all the way back there is red. It makes the water look like it's different colors. <laughs> Whoa, looks like you can walk up a net, go up the yellow stairs, and there's more water slides. This place is so cool. <laughs> Whoa. There's another fountain. Wow. There's water all over this. I think you would need a swimsuit to play on that playground. <laughs> Whoa, look over here. Dinosaur footprints. Whoa, do you think Stanley made those or another dinosaur? Hmm. Here's another one. Whoa, look how much bigger it is than my foot. Whoa, wow. Oh, come here. Wow, this is an actual mold of a real dinosaur fossil. Do you know what kind of dinosaur it is? It's a velociraptor. <laughs> We've seen a lot of those today. Whoa. Look at its mouth. You can see its sharp teeth in there. Velociraptors lived 150 million years ago. <laughs> Whoa. Is it snack? These are the ribs. We have ribs on our sides. <laughs> wow. Whoa, look at the tail. Even the tail has bones in it. Wow. <laughs> Velociraptors are really cool and really ferocious and strong and super fast. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> More dinosaur footprints. Let's see where they take us. Whoa! Look at this. A crate of objects. Hmm. And we're by a giant pool. <gasps> That only means one thing. We should play sink or float. <laughs> Will you play sink or float with me? Awesome, let's do it. All right, let's see what we have in the crate. We have a blue bouncy ball. Ooh. <laughs> will it sink or will it float? We won't know until we throw. It's floating. <laughs> And we have a, ooh, a spatula. Maybe you've seen these in your kitchen. You can make pancakes. Ooh, do you think it will sink or float? Let's see. Whoa, it went to the bottom, but the handle is sticking up. It sunk. All right, will it sink or will it float? Wow, this is a really cool cup. I love these colors. Oh, I love it. But will it sink or float? Oh, it floats. Okay, what else do we have in here? Oh, here's a fun truck. Vroom, 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 vroom. Oh, nice and yellow. One of my favorite colors. I wonder if this will sink or float. Only one way to find out. Oh, it floats. <laughs> Whoa, look at these. Hello. Whoa, I can see you way clearer now. Oh. <laughs> Let's see, will these silly glasses sink 
or flute. It looks like they're sinking, wow. I totally thought they were going to float. <laughs> All right, what else is in here? Oh yeah, another Velociraptor. <laughs> will you sink or will you float? We won't know until we throw. That dinosaur is definitely floating. All right. Hmm. Whoa. Hey, this is a ruler. You can use it to measure things. I wonder if it will sink or float. Whoa. It's sinking. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Should we see if the rest will sink or float? And one big dump? <laughs> Let's do it. One, two, three, Whoa! Wow! I see some diving sticks that sunk to the bottom and everything else is floating away. Goodbye! Ha. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> awesome! Let's spell it in the pool. Okay, ready? M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika! <laughs> well, thank you so much for having a good time with me today in this super cool place filled with velociraptors. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs> Hello! It's me, Flippy. And today, we are here at the Winchester Dondero Cultural Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I am so excited because you and I get to learn about a holiday from Mexico. <laughs> it's called Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead in English. And it's a celebration of family members you love. <laughs> well, I am so curious to learn all about it. <laughs> Hola, Blippi! Whoa, I think someone was calling my name. Let's go see who it is. <laughs> Whoa, hey, were you the one that called my name? That's right. I'm Irma Varela, and I would like to share my culture with you. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Irma. Well, we are so excited to learn about Dia de los Muertos. <laughs> and this is so beautiful. Is this part of Dia de los Muertos? Yes, every Ooh. year during November 1st and 2nd, we build these beautiful ofrendas for the people who passed away. That's a way of remembering them and to bring them back to be with us. Wow. Well, it's so colorful and beautiful. There's so many interesting things on the ofrenda. Is it okay if I touch something? Yes, go ahead. This is a way that you're gonna connect to the person we're remembering. <laughs> well, look, it's a little skull and it looks like it's made out of sugar. Yes, we make sugar skulls every year to decorate the ofrenda. And as you can see in the little paper right there, that's where we normally write the name of the person we're remembering. Whoa, it looks like a little headband. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> wow, there's so many other cool things. And it looks like there's a lot of food here. Yes, huh. because they're coming to visit from really far away. Oh. So they're gonna be hungry. <laughs> and we're gonna serve their favorite food. In this case, he loved coffee, and he loved mole. Ooh, I love those things too. <laughs> yes. Whoa, this bread here, it looks so interesting. Yeah, it's kind of bumpy on top. Right, that's oh. what we call pan de muerto. Oh, pan de muerto. Bread of the dead. Bread of the dead. <laughs> yes, and you can see in the top, it has little figures here. They represent the bones of the dead. Whoa, <laughs> that's so interesting. Wow. <laughs> And the muerto. <laughs> right. We also have toys because this is a way we remember him and him playing with his family. Ah. He liked traditional toys from Mexico like Valero, Loteria, and Trompo. Whoa, <laughs> those sound really cool and fun. <laughs> hey, and I know this. Is that a piñata? That is a piñata. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Oh, hello. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> and colorful. <laughs> That's right. Oh, oh, and why is there 
a passport and a cruise ship? And candles? Because Mr. Lemos, he loved to travel. He went all over the place. And as a Mexican consul, he had the opportunity to do so. We have the candles because they illuminate the way for the dead to come and visit the living. Whoa. We also have uh, incense that is a special aroma that brings them back, as well as the color of the flowers. Do you know how to say flower in Spanish? Ooh, how do you say it? Flor. Flor. <laughs> That's right. Lord, I like saying that. <laughs> and all these color, colorful pieces right here, mm -hmm. they're called papel picado. Papel picado. Wow, they're so beautiful. Hey, and look, the flowers are orange and the papel picado is blue. <laughs> My two favorite colors. <laughs> hey, Irma, is it possible for us to learn how to make some papel picado? Of course we can! <laughs> let's go do it! <laughs> okay, let's go! <laughs> Whoa, look at it! <laughs> There's so many beautiful, colorful pieces of paper. That's right, Libby. Whoa. And uh, Yerma, what's this called again? That's papel picado, and we have a skeleton right there, a skull, Ooh, because spooky. we're celebrating <laughs> Day of the Dead. Whoa, yeah, papel picado. Ooh, uh, and Yerma, can you show us how to make these today? Yes! Let oh. me show you how to make it the way my grandma showed me. Okay. Because this type of papel picado is more complicated. Mm. You need a special <laughs> tools for that. Okay. Since we're just learning, and the way that my grandma taught me is this way. You're going to grab a piece of paper. You can grab one. Oh. I'll grab one. <laughs> hey, look. It's I'm going to take purple. <laughs> purple is my favorite color. Oh, no. and blue, that's one of my two favorite colors. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so you see, we're going to work on folding paper okay. just like if you were doing a snowflake. You know oh. how to make snowflakes? Yeah, I've well, made a snowflake before. Perfect. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> it's the same thing. Cool. So we're going to fold them, okay. but you're always going to leave like a little piece on the top that you don't want to cut, all right? Mm. Okay. Because <laughs> that fold would be where you're going to be hanging your little banderitas, they call oh. banderitas. The little pieces individually, banderitas, which means flag. Ooh. Okay. Banderitas? Banderitas. <laughs> yeah, that means flag. Right. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so then we're gonna fold it again. Okay, we'll fold it. All right. Yeah. And pay attention never to cut where the opening is, okay? Okay, we don't wanna cut on this side. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, let's do it one more time. Okay, we'll okay. do it one more time. All right. Whoa! <laughs> so you have your scissors? Okay, yeah. Tijeras. Oh, can you say that one more time? Tijeras. Tijeras. Scissors. Ooh, scissors. All right. <laughs> well, make sure them. if you're using scissors, you're always with a grown-up. <laughs> That's for sure. Yes. <laughs> My grandma taught me how to do it. We used to have a smaller scissors than this. Oh, cool. But since I'm a big girl now, I can use this. <laughs> okay. Let's All right. Use the scissors. <laughs> so you're gonna cut, and you can cut like tears. Okay. Little tears. Oh. And then you're gonna cut like a, a half moon. Oh. And then Try to do another little tear, but always respect that space that you have folded, okay? Okay. All right. Yeah. We're gonna take the folded pieces of paper and our scissors, and we'll cut little tears, or little semicircles, <laughs> like that. Very good, very good. Whoa! <laughs> All yeah. right. Well, before we <laughs> open it, we're gonna make a little shape in here. So let's do like a half moon right here. Okay. And we'll let's cut do that. Piece over here. All right. <laughs> we can open it if you want, if you want more designs on your papel picado. Whoa. And try to cut in the part that is not open always, right? Okay. So let's do another one. You can do like a little tear or you can do like a triangle. It's up to you. Ooh. It's up to your imagination. <laughs> Ooh, look, I made a little triangle. Hmm. Maybe nice. we can make another shape. Uh, okay, let's try. it's whatever you like. This is for you to enjoy, <laughs> have fun. Ooh, let's make a square. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Oh, perfect. <laughs> okay, let's open it. Whoa, <laughs> it looks so cool already. <laughs> there you go. In this case, I have like two little banners in one, mm. right? We can cut another thing in the middle if you want. Oh, yeah, and let's as try you one can more thing. see, but this time we open it. Okay. Like yeah. this. Each time we're just cutting right on the fold. Right. Okay. <laughs> Good <No>. job. <laughs> okay, and now we open and see the shapes we cut out. Right. Whoa! <laughs> Look, there's all kinds. We have a diamond shape and a square shape. <laughs> yeah, look, four sides. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and little teardrops. <laughs> wow. You did a great job. Yeah, thanks. Congratulations. <laughs> Let me tell you what else happens with the papel picado. Yeah. Papel picado is used to decorate in all kinds of celebrations, oh. not just on the celebration of Day of the Dead. Oh. We're doing Day of the Dead today, and that's why you see these uh, images, Ooh. okay? <laughs> but normally, the people in the, the towns of Mexico, they have very simple papel picado that they make themselves like we did today. Ooh. And what they do to put it together, like we have here, you see how they're banners and they yeah. hang it from one side of the street to the other. Oh. So it makes the whole street beautiful and it flies and the wind plays with it. This uh. tradition <laughs> comes from the Aztecs. They used to do it on a bark of a tree. Whoa, and the now, Aztecs, <laughs> they're so old. Yes, they're old, <laughs> yes. So oh. what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab a string. Okay. Let's move this paper a little bit. Sure. Move this out of the way. <laughs> Okay, these are just examples for you to see. Okay. Fancy, fancy paper. <laughs> so we take our string and our pel picado. That's correct. And then you're gonna put the string and you're gonna use glue in there and then you glue it. Okay, you wanna do it? Yeah, let's try it. <laughs> let's see okay. if the glue is ready to go. So we cut out the shapes and now we need glue. <laughs> We'll take the glue. Just put a little bit because uh, tissue paper is really fine mm -hmm. and then it gets all wet <laughs> and then you have a hard time hanging it. <laughs> you don't want too much glue. No. <laughs> and then you just fold the top over the string. Yes. <laughs> okay, let me get close to you because you have to have some, some space but not a lot. It depends how big you want to make your banners, okay? or banderitas. Whoa. All right, <laughs> and so you keep going like that, and then you hang it. Wow, <laughs> this looks so beautiful. So this is just one part of the ofrenda. Oh. When I was growing up, we have people coming to sell all kinds of things in, in the market. Mm -hmm. And they would have a lot of vendors selling toys and selling decorations for Day of the Dead, like skulls. They sold the Day of the Dead bread, which you saw already in the ofrenda. Oh. And they sold all kinds of things. When I was little, I really wanted to go to those places because they sold so many toys. One of my favorite toys was the skulls. Whoa, look at it. <laughs> It's a little skull. And, and you know why I like it so much? Why? Because you can make it talk. Oh, hello, hello, hello. How are you, Blippi? <laughs> hello, Yama. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing good. <laughs> this is silly. Let's laugh, let's laugh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's really fun. <laughs> wow, these are really silly. Yes, yeah. they are fun. They're little skulls, but they're also toys. Yeah. Yes, they are. <laughs> How about we paint them? Yeah. Okay. Let's paint the skulls. <laughs> Whoa. And look, we have some paint. And they're all different colors. Yeah. We have the color yellow, the color purple, blue, red, green. <laughs> There's so many. Wow. Hey. And we have paint brushes. Okay. There are two for you and two for me. 
Okay. I think we're ready to start painting. Perfect. Ooh. So just let me tell you really quick, the original way that the skulls were, they were really plain when I was oh. little. It was just the black eyes, the cross, the smile. That's oh. the original way, oh. which really looked more like a real skull. Mm. Then people started to decorate it more. They started to put the flowers around. This is something that is more modern. But the traditional one, very little. Oh. And you can see this one was decorated by the art Anthony. He oh. was the artist who made these clay skulls. And he painted for me. Every year he paints <laughs> one for me yeah. and gives it to me. It's As so As you colorful. can see, that's his own style. You know, it's wow. not traditional. But it's fun, right? Yeah. I like this one. He even has eyelashes. Yeah, you like my eyelashes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and really colorful teeth. Yes, Whoa. yes, they are colorful. So you decide how you want to color your skull, and I'll do mine. Okay? okay. Let's do it together. Oh, it's time to decorate. Hmm. All right. What color you want to start with? Hmm. Well, what color do you think I should paint the skull? Well, my two favorite colors are orange and blue, so we'll start with orange. <laughs> I like. Grab a little bit of orange, and you want to put a little bit of water with your paint so it's not too thick. <laughs> oh, mm, and what should we do first? Maybe we can give him glasses. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, cool. I'm gonna make my mine really traditional. So oh. I'm just gonna paint around the eyes. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. And you're using purple, your favorite color. Of course. <laughs> okay, there we go. Whoa, I think it's doing really good. Did we put too much water? Mm, maybe. I think I did. Oh, 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 my eyes are getting sad. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Sad eyes. This one is crying. Oh, pobrecita. <laughs> wow. I can't wait to see how these turn out. It looks so cool. <laughs> Whoa, look. <laughs> it's a puppy. Hello. <laughs> ah, that's very nice. It looks like you. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Hmm. But are we missing anything else with the skull? Mm, let's that's put mine. some more color. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Hmm. We can make a hat. <laughs> yeah. Let's put some blue. Ooh, nice. On his head. Okay. Hmm. And there's blue right over here. Whoa. We need blue. And for the head, for the flippy hat, we need to make little blue triangles all around. And I'm leaving space because my hat isn't just blue, it's also orange. <laughs> okay, let me see. Hmm, I think I want green. Verde. Oh, verde. Green. green. Yes. <laughs> I'm learning so many Spanish words. <laughs> well, thank you for teaching me. So much fun learning about new things. Yeah. Yes. It's so much fun having you. Ah, thanks. Because you're a quick learner. <laughs> well, I try. <laughs> I love learning. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I have the blue of my hat. Now I just need to fill in the orange. I'm gonna put eyelashes because it's me. <laughs> Whoa! This hey, is me. I think I should do eyelashes too. Hmm. All Let's right. Choose. <laughs> I'll use some green. Green eyelashes. Whoa! <laughs> That's what so silly. is the name of green? Verde. Oh, yeah. Remember, we learned that green in Spanish is verde. <laughs> and I'm using red. Rojo. Rojo. Verde and rojo. That's right. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Whoa, we have eyelashes. Verde eyelashes and rojo. Ho, <laughs> <laughs> We're having so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> wow! It is so much fun learning about all the different art you can make around Day of the Dead. That's right. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Let's put one last thing. Maybe I need some colorful teeth. <laughs> yes. 
Let's put purple, purple on my teeth. Whoa! <laughs> oh, check you out. Whoa. That's cool. It's checkered purple teeth. <laughs> wow, <Whoa>, so silly. <laughs> Wow. Ooh, now well, I want to do checkered teeth. Let me see. Okay. Oh, that's super cool. I love it. Okay. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put braces. Braces? Whoa. Yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> Maybe your skeleton needs their teeth a little straighter. Uh -huh. They put on braces. <laughs> All right, let's Whoa. do that. <laughs> Whoa. How you like that? Yeah, that's great. With that <laughs> color? That is green. Third thing. That's right! Whoa! Hey, and I'm gonna put a red nose on my skull! <laughs> yeah! Do you remember what red is in Spanish? Rojo! <laughs> yeah! Good job! <laughs>
there are so many different foods I didn't know if I would like before I tried them. But then I tried them and they were all so tasty. <laughs> That's right. Mm. We also have tacos and we have buñuelos. Oh. Buñuelos is something we don't eat during this time mm. normally because we eat them during Christmas. Oh, during Christmas? Yes. But because we are remembering special people and the food they like, we can have buñuelos today. Ooh, that's but so tasty. <laughs> we have too much food. So I think what you really need to taste is pan de muerto. Because Ooh. pan de muerto is the only time you're going to taste it during Day of the Dead. OK, so let's, <laughs> let's try, try that. It. Ooh, Day of the Dead bread. <laughs> that's right. Just like the one we saw at the ofrenda. Ooh, I can't wait to taste it. All right. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it looks so tasty. Yeah. It is. Delicious. And, and it has the bumps on the top. Better That's the right. bones. That's <laughs> right. Let's cut it. Whoa. It and looks you're going to grab hard. a piece. No, it's not hard. But it's soft. It's, it's um, firm. Ooh. Because you normally eat it with chocolate. You dunk Ooh. it in the chocolate or your mm. milk. <laughs> That's a really your tasty. piece. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Ooh, this looks so tasty. I can't wait to try it. Okay, here we go. Let me get Ooh. my piece. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. You can eat it. Oh. Mmm. What do you think? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. You see now why the dead come mm. to visit the living? <laughs> this oh. is tasty. It mm -hmm. tastes kind of citrusy and sweet. Mm hmm. Mmm. I'm going to take another bite. <laughs> These are the flavors of Day of the Dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and after that, you know what we need to do? We need to dance because we ate so much. <gasps> well, thank you, Irma, for teaching us all about Dia de los Muertos about making crafts and eating delicious food. But is there anything else we should learn about? Yes, my favorite part, music! <gasps> oh, oh, look at this place! <laughs> this looks like a great place to learn all about music! <laughs> and there's a mariachi band, whoa! Yes, 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 mariachi! You wanna learn about the instruments? I would love to, okay, let's learn. <laughs> this is a violin. Whoa, a violin. That sounds beautiful. Um, but how do you say it in Spanish? Violin. Violin. Ooh, that's beautiful. <laughs> I love learning about instruments and their names in Spanish. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. This instrument has strings just like a violin, but it's really tall. <laughs> it's almost as tall as me. Ooh. <laughs> now, what's the name of this instrument? Harp. Harp. Ooh. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? It sounds so beautiful. Harp. <laughs> and in Spanish is arpa. Arpa. Ooh, that's fun to say. <laughs> arpa. <laughs> Whoa, and I think I know what this instrument over here is. It's a guitar. <laughs> but I don't know how to say guitar in Spanish. Guitarra. Guitarra. Ooh. And this is how they sound. Wow, all these instruments sound so beautiful. It's so fun learning about music. <laughs> all we need now is a singer. Hmm, that would be good. <laughs> <gasps> oh my, oh my! Whoa. Look at who it is. It's Aida Cuevas. Uh, hola, Blippi. <laughs> hola. La reina de las rancheras. Wow. I am so excited. <laughs> ¿Quieres cantar conmigo? Whoa. Aida just asked if we would like to sing with her. I would love to! Right. See! Sí. Gracias! <laughs> okay, let's sing! <laughs> Me 
me dicen el negro llorona, negro pero cariñoso. Todos me dicen el negro llorona, negro pero cariñoso. Yo soy como el chile verde llorona, picante pero sabroso. Yo soy como el chile verde llorona, picante pero sabroso. Salías del templo un día llorona cuando al pasar yo te vi. Salías del templo un día llorona cuando al pasar yo te vi. Hermoso huipil llevabas llorona que la virgen te creí. Hermoso huipil llevabas llorona que la virgen te creí. Suénale. Esto es en México. Dices que no tengo duelo, llorona, porque no me ves llorar. Dices que no tengo duelo, llorona, porque no me ves llorar. Hay muertos que no hacen ruido, llorona, es más grande su pena. Hay muertos que no hacen ruido, llorona, es más grande su pena. Ay, la, 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 la. I can't believe I got to perform with a real life mariachi band! <laughs> and Aida Cuevas! Whoa! <laughs> they were so amazing! They were really, really talented musicians! <laughs> yeah! A musician is someone that plays music or sings music. La 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 la! la. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I really love music. Oh, and speaking of music, do you hear that? Ooh, there's some more music playing. Ooh, <laughs> I bet it's another band warming up for another performance for Dia de los Muertos. <laughs> Ooh, maybe we can go find them. <laughs> Keep your eyes open. Come on. Ooh, <laughs> maybe they're in here. Hmm. <laughs> nope, they're not in there. Hmm. Ooh, look. There's a picture of a guitar on the door. Hmm, maybe the music's coming from this door. <laughs> Let's listen. Ooh, let's see who's playing the music. <laughs> Hi, Libby. Hi. Come on in. Come on. Oh, it's a mariachi band. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Whoa, hello, everyone. Hi. <laughs> And we are Mariachi Divas. Oh, it's nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you too. I'd like to introduce the ladies here today. We have Natalie, Eileen, Daniela, Lola, and Elisa. Oh, hi. It's nice to meet everyone. Whoa. Thank you too. Oh, you all look amazing. Thank you. <laughs> and you have really cool instruments. <laughs> oh, and Cindy, what's this instrument? This is the coolest instrument. Well, that's what I say. <laughs> this is the trumpet. Oh, yeah, it's a trumpet. It's, the, it's the loudest one. The loudest oh. one for sure. Loud? Oh, that was really loud. Yeah, 
And it looked like you made lots of different notes, different sounds in the music by hitting these right here. Those are called valves. Oh. And we have three valves. Oh, yeah. One, One valve, two valve, three valves. Whoa. <laughs> and a giant bell. Oh, yeah. Do you see this? Yeah, the sound comes out of the big bell right here. Whoa. <laughs> this is a brass instrument. Oh, yeah. It's made of brass. Oh, and so pretty. <laughs> well, Cindy, I think I want to see some of the other instruments. Definitely. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this one. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> well, what's your instrument? This is the violin, so it's made out of wood. Oh, yeah. It's not made out of metal like brass. It's made out of a very pretty wood. Oh, would you like to hear it? Yeah, of course. So, we can use bow. Okay. In order to make some sound come out. So. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah, there weren't valves on a violin. No, there are strings. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's four strings. Four. One, two, three, four. Four. Yes. <laughs> four strings, but you don't use a pick or your hands kind of like a guitar. You use Ooh. this. We use the bow and we can also pluck, actually. Oh, well, you can? Yeah, we can pluck. So we can do. Oh, yeah, she can use her hands and that's called plucking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you pluck the string. Make sound. <laughs> yes. Oh, and what's the bow made out of? So the bow, this one right here in particular is carbon on the stick. Whoa. And then we have horse hair on it. Whoa, horse hair? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's cool. Yeah, and then we put rosin on it, so that's why it looks a little powdery. Whoa. And then that's why it helps us stick onto the string so we can hear a Wow, that is a beautiful instrument and really interesting. <laughs> Whoa, well thank you. Absolutely. I think I see another instrument. Oh. Look at this! <laughs> this one's so big! <laughs> Whoa! It looks like a guitar, but a giant guitar! <laughs> it is a giant guitar. It's called a guitarron. A guitarron? Yes. Oh, did I say that right? Yes, you did! Oh, good! <laughs> yeah. And this one is made of wood as well. Yeah. And it has six strings. Whoa! One, one two, two, three, four, five, six! six. <laughs> oh, and three of the strings are the color yellow. Because that's my favorite color. That's your favorite color? Yeah, so we get to pick whatever color you like for oh. the strings. Oh, yellow and silver. Ooh. Hey, can you guess my favorite colors? <gasps> Let me guess. Orange and blue? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> orange! Ooh, that was a good guess. <laughs> and you want to hear it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that sounded awesome. Yeah, it sounds like an acoustic bass guitar. Yes, oh. it is a bass guitar. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this guitar. Whoa, well, it might be guitar. I actually don't know the name of this instrument. This is called a vihuela, oh. and it's kind of like a guitar, but it only has five strings. Oh, five strings, wow. Yeah, a guitar has six strings, but this, it only has five. Whoa. Exactly, and it's a little higher pitched, so it sounds like this. instrument. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and look up here. It looks like this part is really beautiful. Yeah, it has wood on it. Hmm. And these little metal things, what are those called? These are called pegs and you use them to tune your strings. Whoa. You could go lower or you could go higher, but you want it somewhere in the middle so it sounds really good. <laughs> yeah, you want to play an instrument that's nice and in tune. <laughs> Ooh, well, thank you. <laughs> oh, and look at this instrument. I think I know this one. Is this a guitar? Yes, it's a guitar. Whoa, can you play some for us? Oh, that sounds so beautiful. <laughs> Whoa. It has six strings as well. Oh, yeah, that's so cool. Whoa, <laughs> I love guitars. Yeah, they're really fun to play and even more fun to listen to. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, and look at this over here. Oh, oh, hi there. Hi. <laughs> hi, what's your name? Elisa. Oh, it's nice to yours? meet you. <laughs> I'm Blippi. Hi, Blippi. <laughs> and Elisa, oh, is that face paint? It is. Whoa, check it out. Elisa has some beautiful face paint on. <laughs> <gasps> Thank you. Hmm. And it looks like there's a rose and some pretty designs. Yeah. Yes. Well, why do you have your face painted? So we usually paint our faces like this it, to represent a skull for Dia de los Muertos. And then we add pretty flowers and swirls to make it not so scary. Oh, <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I love getting my face painted. Oh, hey, do you like to get your face painted too? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, that's great. Me too. <laughs> well, would you like to get your face painted? <gasps> Can I? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, I would love to. <laughs> That'd be great. Whoa, I can't wait to get my face painted. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Okay. But what design should I get? Hmm. I think you should do a flower. Ooh, that would be great. Yeah, just like the rose on your forehead. <laughs> and how about we do your favorite colors? Hmm. Ooh, that would be great. Yeah. Maybe we could do a flower that's orange and blue. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna start right here. A little cold. Now we will add the color. Whoa! Well, oh, you're really good at this. <laughs> Thank you. I practice a lot. Whoa, yeah, I'm sitting really, really still because I want the flower to turn out really beautiful. <laughs> You're done. Whoa, it's so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, look, there's different colored petals. Ooh, hey, it goes orange and blue and orange and blue. It reminds me of my hat. Look, <laughs> orange and blue and orange and blue. <laughs> Whoa, it's so pretty. You did a great job. Thank you. Uh, Are you ready? Ready to play some music? Want to join us? <laughs> yeah, I'd love to. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Woohoo! <laughs> now that I have the flower painted on my cheek, I think we're all ready to go on stage and join the divas. <laughs> well, hey, Blippi. Well, hi. Hey, if you're going to be playing with mariachi divas, you might as well look the part as well. Ooh. Oh, what's this? It's a mariachi jacket. It's Just for, for you. Me? For you. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, we should try it on. <laughs> Whoa! My very own mariachi jacket. Oh yeah. Whoa! <laughs> really yeah. Great. We match. <laughs> and also some shakers. As well. Whoa! Shakers. Yeah. So I can play along. <laughs> okay. I'll see you on stage. Whoa! This is gonna be so fun. Yeah. We get to join the divas on stage. Ooh. Now that I have my jacket and my instrument. I think we're ready to go. Okay, come on. <laughs> Let's go this way. Okay, I'll see you there. <laughs> Hola, we are the two-time Grammy Award-winning mariachi divas. Yeah. Welcome to the stage, Flippy. <laughs> los campos en la primavera de colores de colores son los pajarillos que vienen de afuera de colores de colores es el arco iris que vemos lucir y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí Y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. Canta el gallo, canta el gallo con el kiri 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 kiri. La gallina con el cara, 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 cara Los polluelos, los polluelos con el pío, 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 pío Y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí Y 
por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. The Excavator Song! Rodrigo, ven! Ven! Oh, and we need someone else to help us sing Rodrigo! <laughs> Hola, Blippi! Hola! <laughs> Let's sing the Excavator Song! I'm an excavator Excavator Hey, Dirt! See you later I'm an excavator I got a great big arm and a great big boom If I start digging now, I'll be done real soon I'm a dirt separator I'm an excavator I got a great big scoop And I scoop all the time Digging holes in the ground Wondering what I'll find I'm an earth investigator I'm an excavator Oh, can't you see How do you get around? I roll on tracks To get to where I need to be Soy una excavadora Excavadora Hey, tierra, hasta el fuego Soy una excavadora Jumping solo Sleep? No time for sleep. No time for play. I'm an excavator. Excavator. Hey, dear. See you later. I'm an excavator. 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 Today was awesome! Yeah, we made decorations for an ofrenda and ate delicious food with Irma. <laughs> we also got to have lots of fun with the mariachi divas. And I got to perform on stage with Aida Cuevas. <gasps> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. B-L-I. P-P-I! Blippi! Good job! <laughs> well, I'll see you soon! Bye bye So much to learn about It'll make you want to shout Blippi! Oh! <laughs> hey! It's me, Blippi! Yeah, look at what I'm doing! Whoa! I'm roasting a marshmallow. Yum! I'm gonna make a s'more! Yum! <laughs> Yeah, tonight, I'm at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park in Escondido, California. <laughs> I had a very healthy dinner. And now, I get to make some dessert. <laughs> yep, and if you ever get to roast marshmallows, you definitely should be with a grown-up, okay? Yeah, because fires are dangerous. But hey, I have something really cool to tell you. Yeah, this safari park has what's called a roar and snore. Yeah, it's a campground at the safari park. You can spend the night with the animals. Oh, look, the marshmallow is done. This is gonna be so yummy. Hey, should we go check out the tent? <laughs> yeah, let's go. 
I am so excited to go to bed. Ooh, campsite 22. <laughs> Ooh, good thing I just brushed my teeth. It is very important to brush your teeth before you go to bed. Wow, look at the tent. It looks so cozy. Hmm, should we go inside and check it out? Yeah. <laughs> look, Flippy bedtime stories. Do you ever read before you go to bed? <laughs> I do. I love reading before I go to bed. All right. I should probably get in the sleeping bag. So then after the story, I can sleep. <laughs> All right. Whoa, what a comfortable bed. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Flippy bedtime stories. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Okay, let's see here. Page number one. <sighs> Once upon a time, there was a, a large and colorful zoo <laughs> with so many animals different from me and you. <laughs> Some were big, <gasps> others, <gasps> others small. <laughs> Some, some went squawk. Some went squawk. Some, some, some went. Whoa! Check it out, an animal! Wow! Hey, who are you? Hi, my name is Laura. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Flippy. What I'm do you Flippy. do here? I work with the animals here. I'm a wildlife care specialist. And these are some of our animal ambassadors here at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. Wow, cool. And I know what kind of animal this is. This is a porcupine, right? Yes, this is an African crested porcupine. You can oh. see her crest right over her head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, hello. And what's her name? Her name is Quilma. Oh, Quilma. Oh, maybe because it has a lot of quills? Yeah. Oh, really cool. They look really sharp. What are they made out of? These quills are actually made up of keratin, just like our hair and our fingernails. Oh, wow. Well, my hair isn't sharp like these, but I guess if they become very dense, then your hair and nails can be really sharp like these. Wow, what is she eating? So Quilma's eating some biscuits because mm. she has really sharp teeth uh -huh. and her teeth are always growing. So she eats a biscuit and it helps her to keep her teeth kind of a little bit shorter. Oh, that makes sense. So you and I, when we grow our teeth, they stop and then they're the size that they are. But Quilma, her teeth keep growing and growing and growing. And so she needs to eat things to trim them down to stay nice and short. Oh, she has some cute ears. Hey, Quilma. <laughs> wow. Ooh, and looks like the quills are white and black. Why is that? Well, there's a lot of predators in Africa, so Quilma has to protect herself. So when she feels frightened, she can lift up all of those quills and she looks a lot bigger than she actually is. Oh, wow. Cool defensive mechanism. Hey. And does she shoot out her quills? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people think she shoots her quills, but she doesn't. That'd be like us shooting our hair right off of our head. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Enjoy your snack. <gasps> Whoa, cool. Another animal. Whoa. Hey, who are you? Hi, my name's Nilani. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice I'm to meet Blippi. you. Whoa, I know what kind of animal this is. This looks like a really big hedgehog. Ooh, that's a really good guess, but this isn't actually a hedgehog. Really? Right. Instead, it's an echidna, and they're native to Australia. Wow. Can you tell, though? It kind of looks a little bit like Quilma, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Has those really sharp quills. Are those quills just like the porcupine? Another really good guess, but they're not quills. Instead, oh. they're actually spines. They do sort of the same thing, though, that Quilma's uh, her quills do. Uh -huh. So instead, uh, they are attached to his body and they help uh, if a predator were to come and to bite down, try to make him lunch. Mm -hmm. um, they're just as pokey and it's not really fun to bite oh, into. Cool. Mm -hmm. So another great defensive mechanism. Absolutely. Whoa. Mm -hmm. 
And it looks like his nose is really long. It is. And so he can use that nose to sniff out bugs underground. And you can see right now he's eating a bug soup. Uh, so uh -huh. that's what we feed him here at the safari park. He's Ooh. also using that really long tongue of his to slurp it up. Ooh, mm -hmm. yum! Mm -hmm. So is this a mammal? It is a mammal. So this guy is a mammal, but he does a lot of things that other mammals don't really do. Really? Like so what? Instead, other females, not Shaw because he's a boy, uh, would actually lay eggs which is really, really weird, right? Yeah. Most mammals don't do that. Instead, uh, they give birth and then they feed their babies milk. So these guys also feed their babies milk, but they lay a sort of soft leathery egg, sort of oh. like other reptiles, but they're not. Um, and instead that baby hatches and it's born without any of these spines. They're really, really soft. Wow. Mm -hmm. And they're known as puggles. Puggles? Mm -hmm. That's a silly name. It is. That is really cool. I've actually never heard of a mammal that lays eggs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really There's cool. actually one other one that does. Oh, mm -hmm. what one? The platypus. Whoa, I know what a platypus is. Yeah. Wow, that is so cool. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for teaching me about this animal. No problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like we have a couple more animals. Oh, and look, looks like a turtle or a tortoise. Yeah, it definitely has a very hard shell. Oh, and look at these animals. Hello, they look very soft. Hard, soft. <laughs> All right, let's learn about them. Whoa, what kind of animals are these? These are called tamanduas. Oh, tamanduas. That's a really cool name. They kind of look like an anteater. They are an anteater. Oh. They are actually known as lesser anteaters. So we have the giant anteater that's a lot bigger, and then a silky anteater, which is a lot smaller. They're kind of the mid-sized version. Okay, and they're black and white. They kind of remind me of a skunk. Are they stinky? They are really stinky. Oh. They actually can smell a little bit worse than a skunk. Really? They're known <laughs> as the stinkers of the forest in South America. <laughs> That's silly, and what are they eating? They're eating what we call bug soup. So oh. it's one of their favorite things here to eat here at the safari park. Oh, so they like to eat bugs they, and insects? They do. So I have some bugs also. Let's see if oh. they want to eat these bugs. Ooh. Oh, yeah, they do look hungry. Whoa. Oh, and it looks like you have a lot of pieces of wood here, and it looks like they're all torn up. Why is that? That's one of their favorite things to do, is to tear into the wood with their really sharp claws and then they find the bugs and they use their tongue and they stick their tongue down to slurp all those bugs up. Wow, that is really cool. Flippy, they have a really long tongue. Oh, they do? It's about 16 inches long. Whoa, that's probably like that big. That's really long. Isn't that about the same length as a giraffe? It is, giraffes wow. have really long tongues and wow. so do the tamanduas. Let's see if she wants to show you the tongue. Okay. Oh, there it is. Whoa, yeah, so these animals' tongues are about the same length as, as a giraffe's tongue. But yeah. theirs are really sticky, so oh, all of are? those bugs will stick to their tongue. Oh, yeah, and it looks like they eat downward into the, the ground, holes, wood, while giraffes typically eat upward and try and grab leaves. <laughs> that is really cool. Oh, hey! You're really cool. Oh, and it looks like they have some claws or you. They nails. have really, really, uh, their claws and nails. And they use those to tear into things. And they also use it for climbing. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So then they can wrap their hands around branches, maybe? Yeah. Do they live around the trees? They do. They spend a lot of their time up in the trees. Oh. And they use their tail as an extra arm or leg to climb. Whoa, that was really cool learning about them. Hey, what are their names? This is Cora, and Cora is the, the mom of this baby, and his name is Tatis. Oh, well, nice to meet you two. <laughs> I'm gonna go learn about the turtle or the tortoise. We'll find out. See you later. <laughs> Whoa. Hi there. Cool. Hey, so who is this? This is Sita, and you were right. This is our tortoise, oh. and he's specifically an African leopard tortoise. Ooh, African leopard mm -hmm. tortoise. Yeah. Ooh. 
Do they call it that because it kind of looks like a leopard? Exactly. So it sort of looks like the spots of a leopard. But this actually helps him to blend into his uh, environment out in Africa. So oh. out in Africa, there are a lot of dark browns, light browns, lots of dirt that he mm -hmm. can blend into. And from there, he can actually cover his shell with that dirt and sort of look like a dusty rock. Oh, that's <laughs> really cool. Cool camouflage. Absolutely. And rocks are really hard. Is he also really hard? He is. You can yeah. actually touch him and feel really? it if you'd like. Wow, cool. Yeah. Oh, he is very hard. That helps to protect all the other soft parts of his body, too. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Full of defensive mechanisms. Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> so, can he like leave his shell or go into a shell? He can't leave his shell, it's a part of his body. Okay. So what he does is he'll actually pull all of the soft parts, like his head, towards his shell. He'll push his neck in, um, and it'll push his legs and his arms towards his body, towards his shell. Um, and from there, he can also use these really sharp scales that he has, just in case a predator did want to try to take a bite out of him. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and speaking of taking a bite, looks like he's hungry. Yeah, What's he, he eating? Is. He's eating a salad. It's full of a lettuce, carrots, and turnips. Uh -huh. But out in the wild, he's a plant eater, so he is herbivorous. Wow. So he'd be eating grasses and all sorts of different plants. Wow, <laughs> that is really cool. So this tortoise is a herbivore. That means he eats plants. Wow. Absolutely. Oh, hello. <laughs> so, is he full size? He's not. He's actually going to keep growing. Right now, Sita is 20 years old. Wow. But African leopard tortoises, they can get to be 50 years old. Wow. Really, really old. Uh, so, from there, they just keep growing and growing. So, Sita is about 30 pounds right now. Uh -huh. He'll probably get around 50. Wow. Wow. So, mm -hmm. Sita might be 50 pounds someday. Yeah, I think. And 50 years old! Mm -hmm. 50 years old is very, <laughs> very old. <laughs> wow. Well, it was really cool meeting you. Thank you. Yeah. See you later. See you, Sita. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. Check it out! Look at this bird! Oh, hello! <laughs> what kind of bird is this? This is called a hyacinth macaw. They're found in South America, and his name is Lightning. Wow! South America. Whoa! And he is such a pretty blue color. That's one of my two favorite colors. Awesome! Yeah, he is blue because it helps him to camouflage up in the tops of the trees. All the tops of the trees provide a lot of shade, and so the blue helps to mix in and you can barely even see him. Oh, wow. But you could probably see that bright yellow, though, maybe. Yeah, that yellow color that he has is to help to care for his babies. So when a macaw has a baby bird, they put them in a nest, and when the mom and dad come in to feed them, they see the yellow eyes, and that's how they know it's their parent. Oh, wow, that is really cool. Well, he is very pretty, and his beak looks really sharp eating those seeds or nuts that you're giving him? He does have a really big beak. I'm gonna give him a great big nut and we can watch him crack it open. Wow. There's even a type of nut in South America that only the hyacinth macaw can crack open with that big beak. Oh, really? Wow, so it must be a really strong, sharp beak. It really is. Wow, that is really cool. Yeah, nuts and seeds are healthy. <laughs> so this bird is nice and healthy. Ooh, what's this? That's a target stick. One of the things that we do with our animal ambassadors is training. So we have trained Lightning to touch his nose to the ball of that stick. Oh, really? It's called a target. Oh, really? Target. Whoa! Okay. Okay. Good job. You want to try it again after those yummy snacks? That was really good. That was awesome. Whoa. <laughs> Here you go. Target. <laughs> wow, that was really cool. Wow, and how old does this bird get? Hyacinth macaws can reach about 60 to 80 years old, and Lightning is actually 34 years old already. Whoa, that is really old. Whoa, <laughs> what a cool bird. Well, it's definitely nice to meet you. 
Wow, this bird is awesome. I love how it's the color blue. And then there's some yellow around its eyes. Wow, and I bet this bird can fly really fast and really high. Wow. Woo. And it's cool that he eats nice and healthy with the seeds. Whoa. Whoa. Check it out. Did you see this bird just fly in? Wow. This is such a pretty black color. Ooh, and look at the beak. It's nice and white. Wow, and it just flew in so fast. Wouldn't it be cool to be able to fly like a bird? Woo! <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun! Yeah, check it out! This is a zip line. And zip lines are where you wear a harness, so then you're nice and safe. Then you attach to these metal cables, so then you can go from the top of a hill all the way down to the bottom, and it'll feel like we're a bird. Ha ha! Woohoo! Let's go fly! Whoa! Whoa! All right. Oh, thank you so much. This is Brandon, and Brandon is just making sure that I'm nice and safe. Yeah. To ride the zip line, you have to be at least eight years old. Oh, Brandon, I can't get this. Can you help me? Thank you. Yeah, you have to be at least eight years old, at least 60 pounds, but you could weigh all the way up to 300. All right, am I ready? felt like I was a bird. I'm actually kind of getting really tired. Wow. That was great. I love animals. Wow, so many different types of animals. Yeah, and birds. So cool how they can fly, right? Yeah, flapping their wings, feeling so free. Wow. Hey, why don't I read you another story? <laughs> okay. All right. This is the story of all those animals that sleep when it's light, but come out at night. Hmm. Oh, when we oh, when we go to bed when we go to bed they they um when we go to bed Whoa <laughs> Whoa <laughs> Whoa Hey who are you? Hi I'm Lauren Nice to meet you, Lauren. I'm Blippi. What do you do here? I am a tour guide here at the safari park. Whoa, a tour guide? Wait, so do we get to go on a tour? We sure do. We are going on a night vision tour. Oh, that's what these are, night vision goggles. Oh, exactly. so we can see the animals? Wow, cool. What kind of animals are we going to see? We are looking for nocturnal animals. Oh, yeah, those are animals that are up and awake during the nighttime. <laughs> I am so excited. Shall we go? Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is so much fun. This is so cool how you can see through these things at night. Wow. Whoa, so this has night vision and infrared? They have both. They help us see even better at night. Wow, 
cool. Wow. <laughs> this is so cool being able to see at night. Yeah, some animals can see at night without these. <laughs> Whoa, birds! Wow, there's so many of them. Whoa, are those flamingos? This is a large colony of greater flamingos. Wow. Oh, yeah. And they are all the color pink. You know why they're pink? They are pink from the food that they eat. They eat a lot of shrimp-like crustaceans that help turn them the color pink. Oh, wow. <laughs> yep, and they're all standing on one leg. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Look at them. Wow, this is so cool, being able to see these flamingos at nighttime. Wow. Wow. Look at all the flamingos. Whoa. Whoa, now they're all running. Whoa, they're very active at night. Whoa, this is so much fun. Hey, what do you like to do at work the most? What's your most favorite thing for your job? Because it's so cool that you work with animals. I think it's so fun to show people animals they've never seen before in real life. Yeah, especially the animals that they've never seen because, yeah, it's nighttime. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, what's your favorite animal that you have here? Thank you for asking. It is the southern white rhinoceros. Whoa. And they why are, do you like them? They are so big and beautiful, and they remind me of puppies. Aww. <laughs> That's so silly. A rhino remind you of puppies? That's cool. Is that your favorite animal in the whole world or just here? In the whole world. Wow, that is really cool. <laughs> wow, this is so much fun. Oh, whoa, look. Yeah, a rhinoceros. Wow, what kind of rhinoceros is that? This is a southern white rhinoceros, a mother and her baby. Oh, that is so cute. Southern white rhinoceros. Oh, yeah. That's your favorite animal in the world, isn't it? It is. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Look at her. They look so big and strong. Are they up at night quite a bit? They do get up, but they feel very comfortable and safe when they're sleeping with their family members. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is so cool. Do you know how much they weigh? They can weigh up to 5,000 pounds. Wow, that is very heavy. They probably have to eat a lot of food every single day then, huh? They have to eat tons of food. Even when the babies are born, they're almost 100 pounds. Oh, wow, that is a big baby. Whoa. <laughs> Hello, Rhino. <laughs> wow, check it out. Rhinoceroses are so cool. <laughs> Hey, look, Flippy. Uh huh. There's a giraffe. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, oh, and look, there's a baby. Whoa, hello. <laughs> They're so tall. Well, isn't it cool how these animals are up at night while you and I sleep? Yeah. <laughs> they kind of tired. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> that was awesome. Wow, all those animals are so cool. You know, so cool that some of them were nocturnal, huh? Yeah, that means they're awake at night. Yeah, when you and I sleep, they're awake. Wow, that's really cool. <laughs> oh, hey, why don't I read you another story? <laughs> oh, I love reading. <laughs> okay. A rumble in a tummy, a common animal mood. <laughs> to grow big and strong, <sighs> they need good food. <laughs> so open wide. <gasps> so open wide. <sighs> Hope you're. So open wide, I hope you're... 
I hope you're hungry. Whoa! Hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Eileen, and oh. I'm a wildlife care specialist. Wow, that's really cool. Well, I'm Blippi, and what are you doing? I am getting ready to make some bottles so we can feed some baby animals. Whoa, that sounds like fun. Can I help? That would be great, Flippy. Okay. If you want to make this first bottle for the spring box. Ooh, sure. So what I need you to do is to measure out 150 mils. Okay. And then put it in the bottle. Oh, here we go. 150 and spring box. I'm so excited to see what kind of animal that is. Okay, first, we need to measure it out. Here we go. Whoa. There we go. Oh, a little too much. Pour some out. There we go. That's exactly 150. Awesome. So I'm going to put it right in here. Ooh, this looks like it's going to be a small animal. Yeah, because this bottle is really small. It is, and it's a very small amount in there. Okay, here you go. Thank you, Blippi. All right. Let's just put the nipple on. Okay, perfect. And what about this big bottle? <laughs> That's for a much bigger animal. And so this formula, we this bottle, we're gonna make from scratch right wow. now. All right, how do we do it? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put some, some water in the container, about 2,000 milliliters or two liter. Okay, so looks like we have to fill it all the way to the top. All right. <laughs> That's a lot of water. I bet this animal is really big. Whoa, about halfway there. So excited to see what animal this is. Okay, it's getting really heavy. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, we have the water. And we're gonna mix it in this container. So you wanna pour the powder in there. Oh, the powder. Okay, so we're gonna mix the powder with the water. All right, do I pour all of this powder in there? The whole thing, yes. Okay, here it's we go. A big animal. All right, there we go. And then, Okay, the powder's in there. Now we need to pour the water. Whoa, <laughs> spilt a little bit. That's okay. All right, there we go. All right, now do I shake it up? Shake it as hard as you can, Flippy. All get right. a really good mix. Here we go. All right. That was great. Perfect. Now, do we put it in the bottle? Yes, you might need to use this though. It's a lot easier to pour. Perfect. All right, here we go. Whoa, whoa. That smells really good. It does smell good, doesn't it? Yeah, here we go. All right, all right, here you go. <laughs> and then we warm them up. Oh, and after they're warm, then do we get to feed the animals? And then we get to feed the animals. But <laughs> just Today, I actually have a few bottles that are already warmed up, so we can go ahead and feed them right now. All right, this is gonna be so much fun. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I am so excited. Whoa, check it out. Whoa. <laughs> so are these the small animals? They are. Wow. It's a little bit of a variety. This yeah. is a spring box. This oh. is a bonte box. Oh, hey, this spring This is a Nile Lechwe. Okay, so it seems like there's a few different kinds there. Yes. A springbok, a monte way? A, a, a bonte bok. Oh, a bonte bok. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, they're so cute. Hello. And this is our older, oldest springbok. She is um, about six weeks old. Wow, and she looks so hungry. Yeah, yeah we did such a great oh. job with those bottles. Oh, Whoa. let hey. me get the right bottle here. Okay. Whoa. Ooh, and do you see that one? Yeah, it has horns on its head. Whoa. Is that right? That yes. those are horns? Those are horns, and they're just growing. Oh. And the female Bontebuck has horns just like the males, but in the Oh wow. And do they like to eat those leaves? They love to eat the leaves. We call it browse, and this is acacia browse. Oh. Hey. Now really when spring box are out in the wild, uh -huh. they eat grass and they eat uh, plants, Whoa. but they don't really eat trees. The Bontebuck loves the trees too. Okay, wow, they look so hungry. But the one thing they all have is in common is they're from Africa. Ooh, they're from Different Africa. Parts. And can they like run fast or smell good or like jump high or anything like that? Springbok got their name because they jump very high. They, 
They say they can jump as high as 11 feet. They spring up in the air. Whoa! They have a very weird posture to it, too. So when they're running away from someone that might be chasing them, uh -huh. they look bigger. Wow. So they spring up in the air. And they also have this really strange flap of skin back here oh. that when they're very excited, it will open up. Wow. <laughs> and we're not sure exactly what all the purposes are, but it might be just to attract the other the other animals. So oh, wow. It's pretty cool. <laughs> well, what a really cool animal. That was really fun. And they ate a lot of the treats that we made them from the small bottles. That's but right. didn't we make big bottles too? We did make a big <gasps> bottle. Do you want to go with me to feed something bigger? Yeah, I'd love to see a big animal. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Whoa. So those spring box were the one that drank from that small bottle. I'm so curious what animal is gonna drink from this big bottle. That's gonna be our friend Arthur. Do you wanna give me a hand calling Arthur? Yeah! That's great. All right, I'm very excited so, to see what animal Arthur is. So all you need to do is start squeezing that. Okay. He's gonna come running. That's Good a silly and loud. sound. All right. Arthur, where are you? <laughs> Oh, here he comes. Oh, I know what boy. kind of animal Arthur is. Whoa. All right, I'll set this down now. Yeah, Arthur looks like a rhinoceros. That's right, Flippy. He's a southern white rhino. Ooh, a southern white rhino. Whoa. Hey, Arthur. Do you hear that? <laughs> he must really love the bottle that we made him. That sounds so yummy. <laughs> he sure does. Oh, and he looks a lot smaller than an adult massive rhino. Is he a baby? He is a baby. He's a little bit over a year. So he's going to be getting bottles for a little while longer, a few months. Okay. It's going to take him a while to get as big as a big rhino. Yeah. Oh, and it looks like he likes some hay. Whoa. <laughs> Arthur is so cool. And that was really cool being able to help feed Arthur. <laughs> <sighs> I'm getting kind of tired though. <laughs> wow, rhinoceros is so cool. Whoa. <sighs> 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 Wow, what a great morning this is. <laughs> wow, and what a great night that was. I slept so great. Yeah, now I'm very well rested. Whoa, and wasn't that fun at the Roaring Snore? Yeah, we learned so much about animals. <laughs> I love animals. Yeah, big animals, small animals. Yeah, I love big and small animals. It's so cool how some animals are awake at nighttime. Huh, yeah. While I like to sleep at nighttime. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Did you hear that? Whoa! There it is again. Wow, that sounds like an animal for sure. You know what kind of animal that is? Hmm, sounds like a kitty cat. <laughs> Meow. Meow. <laughs> but it definitely sounds bigger than a kitty cat. There it is again. Whoa. Okay, it's a cat, but it's really big. It has a big mane around its head. You know what animal I'm talking about? Yeah, we're hearing a lion. <laughs> Do you want to act like a lion with me? <laughs> oh, there it is again! Yeah! Wow, this was so much fun. And weren't those stories really good? <laughs> yeah! All right, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B L I. P-P-I, Flippy. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Yeah. Come on, everyone. Let's 
make learning fun So much to learn about It'll make you want to shout Blippi! Me, Whippy! And today we're here on the River Thames in London, England. And I am so excited because we're riding on a party boat where we can dance <laughs> and have tea parties. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be so much fun. We better go inside because it's a little bit chilly. <laughs> wow, this is gonna be so much fun. We're gonna go down the River Thames. Yeah, it's a really long river. It's actually the longest river in England. It's 214 miles long. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, and maybe we'll see some amazing sights all over the city. We might even get to go under some bridges. <laughs> so keep your eyes open. Wow, there are so many cool buildings to see when you're on the Thames. <laughs> yeah. Look at this building. Whoa, it's called the Walkie Talkie. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hello, Blippi. Hello, Blippi. <laughs> yeah. You know why it's called the Walkie Talkie? Look. Whoa, it's shaped just like a Walkie Talkie. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, and look at this building. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> it's so tall. Yeah, it's made glass and metal, and it's very triangular. <laughs> Whoa, and look over here. Do you see that? Yeah, that bridge right there is the London Bridge. Whoa, have you heard of the London Bridge before? <laughs> I bet you've heard the song, London Bridge is Falling Down. <laughs> I like that song too. There are awesome bridges. And speaking of bridges, I think I see a bridge coming up. Whoa. This bridge is really, really big. It's called Tower Bridge. <laughs> yeah. We're almost there. <laughs> Whoa. Look, it's the HMS Belfast. Wow. That boat is a little bigger than the boat we're on now. <laughs> it's really big. Wow. And it's so many colors. Yeah. It looks like different shades of blue, light blue, dark blue, Gray? Whoa! <laughs> we made it to another bridge! Yeah, it's called Tower Bridge, and it is so big and so cool! Look at it! Tower Bridge has big towers, but it's also a bridge, so cars can drive over it, and boats can float under it. It's so tall! Yeah, and so beautifully built! It looks old with stones and flags. <laughs> Whoa! Look at it! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, and do you see that? Yeah! Right there in the center of the bridge, it breaks. Yeah! There's two parts of the bridge. It's a bascule bridge. Mm -hmm. And that means that the bridge can open up <laughs> and make really a lot of room for if there are big boats, they can just sail through the center. Yeah, it's a bascule bridge. <laughs> it opens up. This was so much fun taking off from the dock and going down the River Thames. Hmm. But I think it's getting a little chillier. Yeah, it's pretty cold out. So let's go inside and see what's on the inside of the boat. <laughs> Whoa, we're inside the boat. <laughs> yeah, and it looks like I'm still getting my sea legs. Whoa, <laughs> so bumpy. Yeah, <laughs> hey. And look where we are. It looks like we're on a dance floor. Yeah, there's some wood floors so you can dance on it. <laughs> and there are speakers. And it looks like some really cool lights to have a dance party. Whoa, 
But let's wait until it gets dark so all the lights look even better! <laughs> I wonder what's behind these two doors. Come on! Hello? Hi, can I come up there? Push again. Whoa! Looks like it's where the captain is. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Hello! Hi, what's your name? I'm um, John. John, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, baby. I'm Lippy. <laughs> Whoa, John, are you the captain of the boat? I am, yes. Whoa, this is a really cool boat you have. Whoa, and what's this right here? It's a steering wheel. Whoa, it looks really cool. <laughs> and old. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Whoa, is it fun being a captain of a boat? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> would you like to have a drive? <gasps> Whoa, would I? That would be awesome. <laughs> Whoa! I'm driving and steering the boat! <laughs> so if I want to go to the left, do I just turn the wheel? Yeah, yeah, not too much, just a little bit at a time. Okay. Whoa! And now the boat's going to the left. And if I want to go to the right? There you go. Just a little bit at a time. <laughs> Don't want to go too fast. You can go a bit more that way to the right. Whoa! <laughs> I'm steering the boat! Whoa! John, this is awesome! <laughs> no worries. Whoa! And what do these up here do? These are your engine revs and speed and fuel and Whoa. navigation lights for when it's dark. Whoa, that's so cool! There are navigation lights if it's dark and it tells you how much fuel you have. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's probably good that John is steering the boat. <laughs> He's a really good captain! <laughs> Wow, well, thank you for letting me drive the boat. No problem. <laughs> I'll see you soon. See you soon, Blippi. Whoa, that was awesome. <laughs> we better let John, the captain, steer the boat. <laughs> we should go exploring. Let's go downstairs. Come on. <laughs> and big and so old. <laughs> yeah, this boat was one of the fastest boats of its time over 150 years ago. Yeah, it was a boat that could do the China tea run. Yeah, it would take tea from China and it would trade. And it would also do the Australian wool run. <laughs> Whoa, it was so fast and it's so old. <laughs> Hello, Cuddy Sark. Look at what it is! It's the Millennium Dome! <laughs> Whoa! And check it out! It has yellow towers. They kind of look like spikes. And the dome is the color white. <laughs> yeah, the Millennium Dome is a great place to go see concerts and to eat yummy food. <laughs> hey, do you know what a millennium is? Yeah, a millennium is 1,000 years. So they built the Millennium Dome in the year 2000 to commemorate a new millennium. Whoa, and it opened in 1999 on New Year's Eve. Whoa, it's so cool. It looks like it was really hard to build this building. <laughs> There, I'm Lippy. What's your name? Hi, I'm Josh. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Josh. What's this? This is your afternoon tea. Afternoon tea? <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, Josh. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Afternoon tea? That sounds so delicious. <laughs> Woo. Whoa, there are so many cool things here. <laughs> Whoa, look over here. Look, there are scones sandwiches and sweet <laughs> the three s's of an afternoon tea now yeah, look here at the top we have some very colorful macarons and the most important part of a tea party is tea <laughs> we have our teacup a spoon and a saucer <laughs> and <gasps> 
A tea kettle with tea. <laughs> okay, it's time to pour the tea. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it looks so tasty. Yeah. Have you ever had tea before? Whoa. Ooh. I'm going to wait to take a sip because it's so hot from the hot water. <laughs> I think I'm going to start with some tasty treats. Hmm. What should we try first? I think let's start. Hmm. Maybe. Ooh, I think I'm going to start from the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'll take a scone and I'm going to pull it apart like this. Yeah. And spread some clotted cream and some jam on it. Mmm, tasty. Okay, it's time to try. Whoa, whoa, this scone was delicious. <laughs> it's so tasty. <laughs> well, I'll just take a bite because we have so many treats to try. Hmm. Let's try a sandwich next. First, we can try a cheese sandwich. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. Next, do the cucumber sandwich. Ooh. <laughs> Yum! <laughs> Finally, I think this is the one. Whoa, a salmon sandwich. Whoa, look, it has cream cheese and salmon. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, that was delicious. We tried the scones and we tried the sandwiches. The only thing left are the sweets. I'm gonna take a spoon and Take a little bite. Oh, time to try the sponge cake. Whoa, all the snacks at a tea party <laughs> are so delicious. The only thing left for us to try is the tea. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so tasty. Mm. So refreshing. So delicious. <laughs> wow, I love having tea parties. So many yummy foods to eat and tea is so tasty. And the best part about a tea party is spending time with your friends. <laughs> I've had so much fun seeing so many sights and dancing that it's nighttime now. Whoa, and check it out. Tower Bridge is right ahead. It is so beautiful at night. It's all lit up and you can see the cars driving over the bridge and boats like this one floating under the bridge. Yeah, are you ready? Here it comes. Hello. <laughs> It's so beautiful! <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! It's so beautiful! It's all lit up in blue and white! <laughs> hey! If it's nighttime, I bet the lights inside on the dance floor will be perfect! <laughs> I think we should go inside the boat and do some dancing. <laughs> DJ, let's go. Play some music. So much fun learning all about boats. Woo! <laughs> yeah, 
We had so much fun today. We rode a boat and saw so many amazing sights in London. And I even got to have a tea party <laughs> with you. It was so yummy and amazing. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? OK. B-L-I-P-P-I, Flippy. Good job. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, we are here at Cambridge Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, Indiana. <laughs> and I want to get some healthy exercise. Hey, why don't we play some basketball? I love basketball. Come on. <laughs> Look at where we're at. It's a basketball court. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I am so excited to be playing basketball with you today. <laughs> yeah. I love basketball. <laughs> but I'm especially excited because this isn't a regular basketball court. It's a special one because the Indiana Fever practice here. <laughs> yeah. And look at their logo. Whoa. It is so colorful. <laughs> We have the color red, the color blue, the color white, and the color yellow. <laughs> Whoa, but do you see what I see? <laughs> yeah, it's the basketball hoop. Come on. Whoa. Look at it. <laughs> I can't believe we are so close to a basketball hoop that is shot at by the Indiana Fever. <laughs> Look, we have the hoop and the net, which hangs down. And look at the rectangle behind it. Yeah, the rectangle. That's called the backboard. And the shot clock. Woo! <laughs> I really want to play some basketball and make three pointers and layups. Whoa! It's professional basketball player, Tamika Catchings. Hi, Tamika. Hi, I'm Blippi. Aw, <laughs> oh, wow. Would you like to play basketball together? I would love to play basketball with you. <laughs> Whoa, that would be so awesome. <laughs> but Tamika, is there anything we should do before we start playing? Of course, we need to stretch. <sighs> OK, let's start stretching. <laughs> well, what kind of stretches do you like to do before you play a game? Well, I always like to start off with my legs. Hey, I want to get my leg warmed up, and then I want to get my arms warmed up. So let's start with a, a short stretch, a small stretch. We'll have both of our legs together, feet together. Okay. And we're going to bend over from our waist and try to touch the floor. Try to go as low as you can go. Whoa! <laughs> Look, I'm touching my toes! <laughs> and I love to count because counting is so important. So let's count to three. Okay. Will you count to three with us? Okay. Here we go. One, two, two three. three. <laughs> Whoa. Shake it out. Shake it out. All right. <laughs> Good job stretching. <laughs> Play defense. Your legs have to be spread apart, a little bit beyond shoulder width apart. Bend your knee and your arm out. All right. And your bottom half. Here we go. You ready for this? I'm ready. Flippy, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna go side to side. Let me get over. We're gonna go okay. side to side. Here we go. Cross the paint. Ready? Here we go. One. <laughs> Two. Let's go one more time. Three. Whoa! <laughs> Three defensive slides. That was awesome! <laughs> I think we're just about ready to learn more about playing basketball. <laughs> but is there anything else we're missing? Well, looking at our outfit, we need to get changed. <laughs> you ready for this? I'm ready. Here we go! Whoa, Tamika, you look great. You look amazing. Whoa, <laughs> we look all ready to play with the basketball. <laughs> Whoa, well, what should we do first? Well, I think we should. We'll start with dribbling, then we'll go to passing, and then we will finish with shooting. <laughs> yeah! Oh, I love shooting. Woo! 
formula. I like Swish. that formula, B. I like that formula. Uh -huh. Okay, so how should we dribble? Well, I think the most important thing, when you start with dribbling, you have to use your finger pad, not your palm, but your finger pad, all right? <laughs> so we're gonna do three dribbles with our right hand using our finger pad. Snap your wrist. You ready for this? Let's do it. All right. Here we go. One, two, three. Whoa! And we did it with our right hand, so now we should try it with our left hand. <laughs> okay, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Great. Oh, I love those dribbles. Okay. I love dribbling. You want to try something a little bit fancy? Yeah. Let's try something really fancy. All right, <laughs> we're going to do this really fast, but we're going to do cross -holes. So we're going to not just keep it in one hand. We're going to go from one hand to the other hand, the other hand, the other hand. Okay. We'll try it. Five times. Five times. Five times. <laughs> okay. Five times. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Good job, Blippi. Whoa. <laughs> Dribbling is so fun. Now it's time to move on to passing. I'm ready. All right. I'm going to step, step, bounce. Whoa. Step, bounce. Good job, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa. This is fun. <laughs> and notice when you dribble or when you bounce the ball, it does not bounce right directly in the middle. It's a little bit beyond the middle part. All right, so okay. got to come right up. Boom. One more, Blippi. One more. Good Whoa, job. That yeah. was fun. Go at this. And pass. <laughs> okay, here we go. Step and pass over our head. <laughs> Good job, Blippi. Whoa, <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> you do? Why do you like this pass? It's really fun. <laughs> Feels like there's a lot of power in your arms when they're above your head, and you can and pass it really you have far. Big muscles too, so <laughs> that is our overhead pad. Wow! So we did dribbling and we did passing. Hmm. What else did we forget? And we did defense. And defense. Shooting. Oh. <laughs> How can we forget shooting? <laughs> ooh, ooh! Look at that form. <laughs> All right. So I always like to say when I come to the gym, I want to start close. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna start kind of close. All right, just getting the form together. Same thing, you talked about the finger pads on the dribble. Mm -hmm. We're almost gonna do the same thing when we shoot. All right, so on the pad. Whoa! In the hoop. <laughs> Swish! <laughs> Didn't even use the backboard. Well, we're kind of close, so this is all about form shooting and okay. getting your form together. Ooh, can I try it? Of course you can. Okay, I'll try it over here on the left side. So, Take my hand like this. Put it on your finger pads. There finger you go. Pads. And how should my arm be here? It should be 90 degrees. Okay. Whoa. At the 90 degree angle. Yeah. And then you have your other, yep, right there. Oh, and just like an L. <laughs> that was Whoa. great. Good job, Blippi. I made it. Well, what other kind of shots can we take? Hmm, well, you know what? Let's do a jump shot. So if you okay. stay right there, I'll come up here and we'll do a jump shot. Most of the time when you get into a jump shot, it is about jumping. Obviously, <laughs> you gotta jump off the floor to shoot the shot. Okay, here we go. Are you First, ready? a chest pass. Whoa, switch! <laughs> okay, and now it's my turn. Here you you wanna go, go on the same side? Yeah, I'm gonna go on the same side over on the right. All right, you ready? Chest pass into a jump shot. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Uh-oh, I missed, but that's okay. You just need a little more practice. <laughs> Let's take one more shot. Okay. I think you can do it. You ready? Try it again. Let's go, Blippi. Are you cheering, Blippi? Yeah. Come on, Blippi. <laughs> All right. Oh! <laughs> Whoa, it went in. <laughs> it's so silly. <laughs> well, are there any other types of shots that we need to learn about? Well, I think it's important because not everybody gets to shoot out there. So sometimes you have to be able to shoot closer to the basket. I like the post up into a hook shot. Ooh, what's a post up into a hook shot? Well, most of the time, if you're one of the taller players, but even some of our guards get down here. We got the mean guards. <laughs> All right, if you get down you take the ball, Dribble and a hook shot is when you take the ball over your head and hook it into the basket. Oh, all right. Okay. Well, the ball goes into the basket. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, that was really that good. Was awesome and great defense. I tried. I had my hands up. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, you want to try it? So, for a hook shot, what's the first thing I need to do? Well, the first thing, so most of the time you're going to post up, right? So you're going to be facing that way. Good okay. job, all right? Facing, facing this that way? way. So then the ball is going to come to you, and I like to say when the ball comes to me, I like to dribble, one dribble. You might need to do two dribbles. I okay. step with my left, my right leg comes up, and then I hook it in. Okay. All right, you ready to try it? I'm ready to try it. All right, here we go, Blippi. Let's go, let's go, Blippi. Okay, first I'll post up, and then dribble two times, step in, and hook <laughs> shot. But again, I need a little more practice. Let's try right, it again. Your first, that's your first time though. Yeah, yep. that was my first time. So if you miss on your first time, that's okay. You can just try again. <laughs> here we go. Remember, post up, dribble, dribble, dribble step, Oh! <laughs> well, Uh-oh. Maybe I need a little more practice than two times. Wow! Tamika, you are a really good basketball coach. <laughs> well, we learned dribbling, and passing, and shooting, and I made a layup. <laughs> well, I think we're ready to play a game. Well, what do you think about playing horse? Whoa! I love the game horse. Do you know how to play horse? <laughs> well, it's a game where one person makes a shot. And if they make it, the other person has to make the same shot. <laughs> but if they miss, they get a letter. And the first person to spell the word, they lose. <laughs> you don't want to spell the word. Hey, instead of playing horse and spelling horse, let's play Blippi and spell my name. <laughs> ah, you know what, Blippi? You are so creative. I love that. <laughs> Thanks. Well, let's play. So I've also been thinking, You've been practicing all day, and you are looking so much better. I think you're ready for the big show. The big show? <laughs> Let's meet today's players. Why we just take the orange and blue of your friend, Lippie! And the East Smith Memorial Basketball Hall of Famer, four-time Olympic champion, and Indiana Fever legend, Tamika. Right side, right hand layup. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start on the right side and do a right hand layup. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> baby. Baby. Okay, here you go. All now right, it's Tamika's turn. Left side. Let's go off the backboard. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> that's a little tricky. <laughs> Left side, and now off the backboard. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Good job, Blippi! No letters yet. Let's keep playing. <laughs> All right, let's go for a free throw. Well, what's a free throw? Well, a free throw, a shot, right? It's a free shot that you normally get in the middle of the game. Oh. Somebody fouls you. Oh, put your arm out, you're shooting. I shoot, you hit my arm, oh. the foul, I get to go to the free throw line. Uh-oh, I made a foul. <laughs> Whoa, swish! <laughs> Tamika's really good at that. <laughs> Let's see if I can make it, because I don't want to get a letter. Uh-oh, uh <laughs> I missed it. So that means I get the letter B. Yeah, B for Blippi. <laughs> Good dribble. We've been working on it. Ooh. Whoa! <laughs> I hope I make it. <laughs> oh. Uh oh, I missed again. That means I get an L. <laughs> okay, here goes Tamika. All right, Blippi, we're going to bring it in a little bit, okay? <laughs> Thanks. Try to make it easy. Off the backboard. Mm -hmm. You think you can hit that? You know what a backboard is? Yeah, the backboard. That's that big rectangle behind the hoop. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay, here we go. Good job, Blippi. Yeah, we made it. Wait, don't get a letter. <laughs> Woo. Maybe we can try a silly shot. Oh. Let's try behind the backboard. We can try it. I don't want to break the clock, though. 
Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Don't hit the clock. Whoa! <laughs> uh oh. I got a miss. I gotta go after you. Okay. Now I get to pick what kind of shot we make. Hmm. Maybe a silly shot behind the back. Here we go. Oh! Whoa! I think I made it! Oh, that job, was a Libby. really tricky shot. That was good. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh! Uh -oh. I got a B. Okay, so Tamika has a B, and I have a B and an L. Okay, let's keep playing. <laughs> Whoa! Tamika's really good at playing basketball. <laughs> Okay. It's okay to miss a shot because you can just take another one. But that also means I get an I. B L I. <laughs> How about underhand? We're gonna go to the NBA three-point line. <sighs> We're gonna go underhand though. Okay. Brandy style. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. <laughs> oh, a little bit too hard. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna try the same shot because it's a pretty tricky one. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Hey, I made it! Maybe we can make an even bigger shot! Ooh, maybe if we back up to half court, we can make a really, really, really big I shot! I like it! <laughs> okay, let's keep backing up. Here we go! Here we go, Blippi! Ah! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I missed! <laughs> this one is extra tricky! <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> good job. <Ooh. laughs> You're getting good at this. Oh. Practice. Oh, you, you are a really good coach, too. <laughs> oh, Whoa. no! Uh oh! <laughs> I got a B L. A B L. And I have a B L I. Oh, it's getting really close. Hey. Kind of. <laughs> so we're gonna do a right-handed hook shot. Okay, a right-handed hook shot? <laughs> Whoa. But we're gonna get a pass from Boomer. Can I get a pass from Boomer? Yeah, let's get a pass from Boomer. <laughs> All right, Boomer. I'm open. Yes. Whoa! <laughs> Tamika made it. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna get a pass from Boomer. Got post up, post up. Well, that looked a little bit different than my shot. Oh no, I forgot something. Did I do a hook shot? Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> so I think I get another letter. I'll give you another chance. Oh, another chance? Yeah. Oh, that's nice of you. Yeah. Thanks. Post up. Okay. Ooh. And do you remember the kind of shot that I need to make? A hook shot. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> it was really close. <laughs> But I still get a letter. P. B. L. I. P. <laughs> Behind the backboard. Let's try it. Behind the backboard. I think we can get this one. You got it. Whoa! Yay! Wow! Did you see that? Whoa! <laughs> okay, now it's my turn. Oh! oh. <laughs> uh oh, I missed again. That means I get another letter. P. Again. B L I P P. Uh, we're still missing one letter. <laughs> Let's keep playing. <laughs> Whoa! That was great. Okay, my turn. Your turn. Let's go, Blippi. Oh! Uh oh! <laughs> uh -oh. <gasps> I get another letter, and that means B L I P P I. <gasps> Tamika wins! <laughs> uh, I think you look exhausted. You are sweating. We might need to take a hydration break. Yeah, let's take a hydration break and get some water. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that was so much fun playing basketball and really tiring. <laughs> You're really good at basketball. You must have played for a really long time. Well, it takes a lot of practice. <laughs> well, when did you start playing? 
I started playing basketball when I was in third grade. Whoa. But I've been around basketball almost my whole life because my dad played in the NBA. Oh, your dad played basketball? I mean, that sounds so fun. <laughs> my dad, my brother, my sister, my mom, and me. Whoa, that's great. <laughs> well, how did you get into basketball? Well, one of the main things and one of the main reasons I played sports, I was born with a hearing disability, so I wear hearing aids. But when I was younger, I got made fun of. And so sports was where I could go and practice and practice and get really, really good at something so people could make fun of me. <laughs> Whoa, that's so great and really inspiring. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it's important to find your passion. <gasps> Basketball is my passion, and I know that all of you have your own passion. <laughs> oh, I have a passion too. I love to dance. <laughs> Oh, and I do have one other question. If I wanted to get better at basketball, or maybe you want to become a professional basketball player, do you have any advice? I have a lot of advice, but I think the biggest thing is you have to set a goal. And once you set a goal, you have to practice, practice, and practice until you get tired. But even more importantly, that you have to make good grades. Ooh, <laughs> that sounds really important. Making good grades, practicing, and Setting a goal. <laughs> do you know what a goal is? Yeah, a goal is something you want to do. And then you work really, really hard to do that goal. <laughs> oh, well, I have so much fun playing basketball and exercising with you. But do you know another way that is really fun to exercise? Hmm. Dancing. <laughs> hey, Tamika, would you like to learn how to dance like me? Well, Blippi, I don't know. You're so good. But maybe I'll try my best. <laughs> okay, it sounds good. Let's learn to dance. Okay, the first thing you need to know to dance like me is, yeah, get a, gotta get warmed up. So move around, do some stretching. Oh, but we already played basketball and stretched, so we're all ready to dance. The second thing is you wanna move your body just however you want, and you can even do dance moves. Maybe you know, jiggly arms. <laughs> or, since we're playing basketball, dribbly arms. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I'm dribbling basketballs! <laughs> wow, that's fun. <laughs> Are you ready to dance together I'm, for real? I'm always ready. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Time to dance! <laughs> Tamika? Thank you, Blippi. Yeah. I'm tired. Oh, I'm tired too. Woo! I had a really good time with you today. Uh, I had a really nice time with you. Thanks so much for teaching me so many things about basketball and for being my coach. Oh, I don't know what to say. Uh, I might start blushing. Oh, <laughs> that's so nice. Oh, well, maybe we should try one more shot. You ready for it? I'm ready. All right, here we go. You made it! <laughs> Whoa! I can't believe we got to play basketball with Tamika Catchings! <laughs> and we had a really fun day learning about stretching and exercising and being really healthy. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great! B-L-I-P-P-I -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job! Well, I'll see you soon! <laughs>
This ride is called the Sea Serpent. Do you know what kind of ride this is? It's a roller coaster! <laughs> yeah! Whoa, roller coasters are awesome because they go so fast. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's get on. Whoa, check it out. You see this? Look, the Sea Serpent has scales on it, kind of like a dragon. <laughs> Whoa, and there are so many different seats we can find. We could sit in the front. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa, mm, let's sit in number three. Whoa, <laughs> oh, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> Ooh. And remember, when you're riding a ride, safety first. We wanna make sure we have a bar so we're nice and safe. <laughs> okay, I think we're all ready to ride. <laughs> Whoa, bye-bye. <laughs> Serpent. <laughs> Ooh, let's go find another ride. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're here at the teacups. <laughs> you and I are gonna have a tea party. <laughs> a dizzy tea party. Whoa. <laughs> but before we get on the ride, we need to make sure that we're tall enough. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> it looks like we are good to go. Okay, let's get on. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Whoa, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. When I turn the steering wheel, whoa, I can spin. <laughs> here we go. Let's go on to the next ride. Ribbit, ribbit, <laughs> check it out. We're here at the Frog Hopper, where we get to hop like a frog. <laughs> Will you hop like a frog with me? Okay, here we go. <laughs> <Woo. laughs> ribbit, 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 ribbit. <laughs> yeah, on this ride, we're gonna go really high, and then hop. <laughs> Whoa, and we can ride with all these different frogs. There's Joe. He's the color red. Ruby is the color green. Andy is the color blue. <laughs> Destiny is the color pink. Bob is the color yellow. And Sarah is the color green. <laughs> well, I think it's about time we ride the frog hopper. Okay, I'm gonna get in. <laughs> think I'm gonna ride with Joe. Whoa! Okay, I'm all buckled up. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa! I'm up so high. Hello. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Look at me hopping. <laughs> a ribbit, a ribbit. <laughs> See my house from here. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Thanks, Junica. <laughs> Whoa! We did it. We rode the frog hopper. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out. We're here at the fun slide, <laughs> and it sure looks like a lot of fun. And this isn't just one slide; it's three slides. Yeah, one that's pink, one that's yellow. And, whoa, one that's the color blue. Whoa, and what's this? Oh, 
It looks like a sack. <gasps> oh, no way. I bet if we ride the slides with a sack, we will go extra fast. <laughs> okay, I am so excited to go fast down the slide. I'll see you at the top. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Whoa, we're up so high. <laughs> okay, here we go. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> Woo! Woo <laughs> I'm leaping like a leapfrog, hopping over people like a leapfrog. because we get to ride the happy swing. <laughs> yeah, it's like a regular swing, except this swing is huge. <laughs> Come on, let's go on. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Whoa, <laughs> it's so big and it's so colorful. Wow, this swing is orange. <laughs> One of my two favorite colors. Ooh. And now we're nice and safe with this bar. I think we're ready to start to swing. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're here at White Lightning, another amazing ride here at Fun Spot. But I wonder what kind of ride it's going to be. Hmm. Maybe it's a spinning ride like the teacups. Woo! <laughs> Whoa. Or maybe it's a swing ride like the happy swing. Woo! <laughs> or maybe it's like the frog hopper and it's a hopping ride. Whoa! Well, I don't know, but let's take a closer look to find out. Come on, follow me. Whoa, I think it's this way. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're about to get on white lightning. And I know what kind of ride this is. It's a roller coaster. <laughs> a wooden roller coaster that looks really, really, really fast. <laughs> I can't wait to ride it. 
let's go take a seat. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, but before we get on the ride, we want to make sure we're really safe. Safety first. <laughs> okay, so first we want to buckle up our seat. And pull it tight. <laughs> Ooh, thank you. Oh, and then make sure we have a lap bar so we're nice and secure. And then make sure your hands stay inside the vehicle at all times so you stay safe too. <laughs> okay, this looks like it's gonna be super fast and super fun. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready to go. Woohoo! <laughs> here we go. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> fun with you today here at Fun Spot America. Woohoo! <laughs> we rode so many rides, they were so fun and colorful. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I, Flippy. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. I think we can ride one more time. Okay, <laughs> let's go! Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and today I'm at Moxie in Santa Barbara, California. Yeah, it's a really cool children's museum of exploration and innovation. So today, you and I are gonna learn a lot about science. Yeah, maybe some stuff like hearing? Yeah, sound? Whoa, and speed, whoa, slow, fast. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun, come on. <laughs> what are you doing, come on, come here. <laughs> come on. Hello, whoa, check it out. This is a massive guitar, whoa, cool, yeah. Have you ever seen someone play a guitar before? Yeah. Yeah, guitars are so cool. Ooh, and when you strum the strings, it makes some noise. Hey, let's listen. All right, here we go. Tighten this up. <laughs> Little out of tune, but it still sounds really cool. All right, now let me move this up. Yeah. And when I move it up, It'll tighten the strings. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Which effectively makes it tighter and shorter. And now listen to how it sounds. Whoa, higher pitch. Cool, let's keep exploring. Whoa, what's this? Whoa, another guitar right here. Oh, and more strings. Pretty low, but watch this. I'll put my foot right here to tighten it out. Now listen. Whoa, that sounds a lot better. Oh, and watch this. Whoa, I spin this drum and check out the strings. 
you can actually see the wavelengths. Basically. Did you see that? Check it out a little closer. Whoa! <laughs> cool. Oh, hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Simon. Oh, nice to meet you, Simon. I'm Blippi. What are you doing here? Well, this is our sound machine. Sound machine doesn't look like a sound machine. It looks like a table. Well, I got these special little squares with some shapes on them that make some sound for you. Whoa, that sounds like a th guitar. I just played the guitar over there. Wonder what this does. Whoa, every single shape has a different instrument. And now Simon and I just made a really cool song. All right, let's see. We should have a dance party. Are you up for it? Sure. Come on, let's go. <laughs> this is the innovation workshop. Innovation means when you take something old and you make it new or you make it way better. This is going to be so much fun. I wonder what we're going to make. Let's go. Cool, the innovation workshop. Wow, look at this place. This is fun. Whoa, it looks like a car. Whoa, cool. Oh, look right here. Looks like some compact discs, CDs. Yeah, back in the old days, people used to use these to play music and movies. <laughs> All right, Ooh, some bubble wrap. Listen to this. <laughs> Whoa, what else do we have here? Ooh, rubber bands. I like rubber bands. <laughs> Hope we get to make a craft with some rubber bands. <laughs> All right, there we go. <gasps> Whoa, there's someone right over there. Oh, hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Kevin. Oh, nice to meet you, Kevin. I'm Blippi. What do you do here? Well, I build stuff in the innovation workshop. Oh, how cool. Well, I'm very excited. What are we going to build today? Today, we're building a rubber band powered car. Whoa, cool. Can I check it out? Definitely. Whoa, a rubber band powered car. Yeah, rubber bands in a car. So this gets propelled by the power of a rubber band? Exactly. Whoa, cool. How do you do it? So. Uh, do you want to see it go first? Oh, yeah. yeah let's, <laughs> let's do, do that. All right, so first you pull the rubber band back. Okay. And then I'm going to twist the wheel three times. Ready? Yep. One, One two, two three. three. And then we let it go. Whoa, that was really cool. Pretty cool, right? All right. I am very excited. Let's do this. First step is to build the body of our cars. Okay. We're going to make a little triangle out of these wooden sticks. Okay. By putting a brass brad through the hole. Okay, there we go. Make a triangle. Look at that. Looks like a triangle. Perfect. And then <laughs> we have a body of our car like this one. Okay, that makes sense. Now, we've got to make something to hold our wheels. The wheels are held by an axle. Oh, yeah. Just like normal cars and trucks on the road, they have a piece of metal that goes from one wheel to the other to hold them to the body of the car. Exactly. Cool. So. We're going to use a straw to hold our axle to the body of our car. Oh, cool. So we've got some straws and then a wooden stick. OK. And we're going to use hot glue to attach it now. Oh, OK. All right. So before we use hot glue, we've got to put on our heat resistant gloves so we don't hurt our fingers. OK. Wow. Safety first. <laughs> hot glue is definitely something that only grown-ups should use because this is very, very hot. And that's why we're wearing this, these gloves. Yeah. even. Grown-ups have to be careful. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So now we're going to put our wheels on the back here. Okay. So let's put the big wheels on the back so it goes really fast. Oh, yeah. Stick it through the hole there. Okay, so you put a piece of wood between these? Right. Okay. Here we go. Perfect. Wow. Nice. <laughs> All right. Here, here's one wheel and tire. Here we go. And then, oh, yours looks really good. It looks like half a car. Yeah, it does. Whoa, cool. Wow. And same thing. <laughs> All right. With the front, we're going to put the axle through. Okay. Get through. 
and for the front, we've got little wheels to put on. Okay, that makes sense. Big wheels in the back for more traction, and then little wheels in the front for great steering. <laughs> Whoa, now it definitely looks like a car. Look at this. <laughs> so we're just missing the last piece, which is our rubber band to make it go. Oh, all right. So to wrap the rubber band around, we need a little piece of wood on our back axle. All right. That looks good. Now, are we ready? We're ready to add our rubber band. All right. This has to dry for a little bit, so when we wait for that to dry, we'll add our rubber bands. All right, let's wait for it to dry. <laughs> All right, I think it's about dry, right? Yep, mine's dry. Perfect. All right, well, how do we do the rubber band? Let's add our rubber band. We're gonna attach it to the front of our car. Okay. By putting it around that brass brad, the shiny thing. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Is yours attached like that? Yep, it Great. is. And now we do that last step where we wrap it around the back. Okay, and I do remember three rotations. That's right. Ready? One, One. Oh. <laughs> two, three. All right, mine is ready. Are you ready to race? I'm ready to race. All right. Oh. Almost. <laughs> ready? And on your marks. Uh-oh. <laughs> Get set, go. go. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. All right, here I go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, wow. Sometimes we have to embrace our failure. Exactly. It didn't work today. <laughs> yeah, so maybe if we sit here for a while and then we figure out what went wrong, then we can improve on it. And then they will go super fast like this one. Let's try that one again. Let's that try one it worked. again. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this one. Wow, this is still a rubber band powered car? That's still a rubber band powered car. It works the same way. All right, I'll try this one. Okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go! Whoa, it that was worked. Good job. <laughs> nice well, race. thank you so much for teaching us how to make a rubber band powered car. <laughs> Thanks for building with me. All right, I'm gonna keep exploring. Okay. So, see you later. Have fun. Bye bye. See this car? Wow, it looks so fast. Yeah, it has wheels and tires. Ooh, and it has a green front, a blue middle. Yeah, and then a yellow back. Whoa, look in here. Looks like a lot of parts of cars. Hey, why don't we make a car? Whoa, all right. Looks like we have a lot of parts to choose from. All right. Let's see. Ooh, we have some black wheels and tires. Ooh, and some green wheels and tires. Okay, so let's pick a body. Whoa, look, we have some long bodies. We have some short bodies. Ooh, I think, yeah, right here. Yeah, and that one had a short body. So let's pick a long body. And look, my two favorite colors. I wish I could just use both but I need to pick one. Let's pick orange, okay? And then we need a front and a back. Let's see here. Why don't I use a blue front? Yeah, oh, and we can use a blue back. There we go. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> yeah. All right, now we need to pick our wheels and tires. We have the green big ones and the black small ones. So now we have two black wheels and tires and two green wheels and tires. All right, let's compare these two. All right, so the one we made is definitely longer. It also has green wheels and tires while this one doesn't. Hmm, hey, look, looks like there's a scale. All right, we can weigh them and see what one's heavier. All right, this one says, one pound, three ounces. All right, let's see what this one says. One pound, five ounces. So that means this one is heavier. Wow, I wish there's a place where we could race them at. <gasps> Whoa, look! Wow, a racetrack. Whoa, and look at these. 
you can raise and lower the track. Come check it out. Wow, see this? Wow, that looks pretty good. All right, maybe we can race them and see which one's faster. Okay, here you go. On your marks, there you go. There you go. All right, here we go. Whoa, they're going to the top. So then gravity will pull them down. I wonder who's gonna win. There they go, three, two, one, go! We did such a great job building the faster car. Yeah, faster, slower, that's speed. Whoa, cool, yeah. Whoa, -hoo -hoo -hoo. now we're on the roof of the museum. Whoa, look at this. Looks like a lot of black pipes. Oh, nothing inside. Hey, what are these doing here? Looks like the bottom of some shoes. Whoa, we have orange, we have green, we have blue, and we have purple. Hey, I have an idea. Huh, not really doing anything. Did you hear that? Yeah, look down here. Whoa, kind of sounds like musical instruments. these sandal or parts of a shoe on this pipe, it then pushes air out here. And dependent on the height of the tubes, it makes different sounds. All right, let's hear it again. <laughs> yeah! Hey, I have a great idea. Let's hit Line, and let's make some music with these tubes. Woo! Woo! Wasn't that so much fun? Yeah! I love science! It was so much fun learning about sounds with you. Oh, did you hear that? and I sure do love dancing. Woo, yeah! You got some pretty great dance skills yourself. Oh, and you can't forget about the cars. Yeah, well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah, B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi, good job. See you soon. Bye-bye! <laughs> See ya! <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. And today, we're here at the Orlando Science Center in Orlando, Florida. <laughs> and I am so excited because you and I get to learn all about science. <laughs> and we're gonna have lots of fun playing. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, check it out! We're here at Drip Drop Splash, and there's so many fun things to play with in the water. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's a fish, and it's the color orange. Hello, fish. Hello, Blippi. Oh, how are you today? I'm doing really good. <laughs> Whoa, well, let's play with some water. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, check it out! You see this fountain? Whoa, it's so smooth. <laughs> look. Whoa, whoa, look at it go. <laughs> whoa, this fountain makes really smooth water come out of it. Yeah, that's called laminar flow. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, laminar flow is whenever the water flows really smoothly. <laughs> whoa, hey, look at this. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Woo! <laughs> Choo -choo. <laughs> yeah, look at this sprinkler head. It's so bubbly and it's so, so wet <laughs> and sprinkly. Yeah, this is called turbulent flow. <laughs> look at it go! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> 
Check it out. We have a blue boat and a pink boat. And they're riding the waves. Whoa! So many fun things to play here. <laughs> hey, look at this. Oh, <laughs> see this? There are all these tubes. Huh. Wonder what they're used for. Whoa, look. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. <laughs> look at it go. Yeah, and it looks like you can connect all the tubes. Whoa, <laughs> to splash in different ways. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see what we can build. Whoa, look, it has an arm. <laughs> oh, it looks like a crane. <laughs> but we're not building anything with this crane. Nope, we're splashing. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, let's build the biggest fountain ever. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Whoa! Whoa, check it out! <laughs> that is one big fountain. <laughs> and it looks like all the boats, they can swim under it. Whee! Whoa! <laughs> it's raining! <laughs> Woo. Oh, and look at this. Come on! <laughs> Whoa, and check it out! There are so many colorful boats here. We have an orange boat. A blue boat, a pink boat, <laughs> a yellow boat, and whoa, <laughs> a green boat. It's a tower of boats. Whoa! <laughs> whoa, and look at this. <laughs> whoa, look. It's a stream where the boats can go down. Yeah, if you start at the top, you can put some balls, Whoa, look at him go. Bye-bye. <laughs> or maybe a fish. Bye-bye, <laughs> fish. Whoa, <laughs> look at him go. Woo. Or a boat. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. And look at this. There are all these different plates. Yeah, you can take a blue plate and you can put it in different parts to stop up the water so we can make the biggest splash ever. <laughs> We're gonna make the boat go really fast down the ramp. Okay, but first we need to block off all the components using plates. Okay, it's filling up. <laughs> now we can start putting the boats in. Okay, <laughs> whoa, look, it's filling up. Couple more. Okay, I think we're ready <laughs> to release the boats. Whoa, look at him go. <laughs> Hello. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> they went so fast. <laughs> oh, wow. I think it's about time for the grand finale. We've had a lot of fun playing with all these boats, but there's one more surprise. <laughs> Look at it go! Whoa! Whoa, look at it! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, look! I'm getting all the balls in my nets! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that was one grand finale. Whoa, it looks like there are some animals for us to see. <laughs> oh, hi, Tori. Hi, Hannah. Oh, hi, Flippy. Whoa, and check it out. It's a tortoise and a bunny. <laughs> Whoa, and Tori, who's this? This is Rocky, the gopher tortoise. Oh, hello, Rocky. <laughs> Is it okay if I touch her? Absolutely, you can touch her right on the shell there. Yeah. And she can actually feel you touching her. Like we can feel things that touch our fingernail. It's kind of like that. Wow, her shell is very hard and so smooth. <laughs> oh, 
And Rocky's a tortoise, right? That's correct. Oh. So if you look at the claws there, that's how you can tell. Turtles have webbed feet. Tortoises have claws for digging and climbing. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, the turtles, they love the water. But tortoises, they walk on the land. <laughs> well, Rocky, it was really nice to meet you. Oh, and how old is Rocky? Rocky's almost 30 years old. 30 years old? <laughs> She's so small, but so old. <laughs> Aw, well, I'll see you soon, Rocky. Oh, and Hannah, who's this? This is Benji the bunny. Oh, hello, Benji. <laughs> is it okay if I give Benji a pet? Absolutely. Ooh. Oh, Benji is so soft. Ooh, and so fuzzy. <laughs> and Benji is the color white. And Benji's eyes, they're the color red. Oh, Hannah, why are Benji's eyes red? So his eyes are red because he's an albino bunny. Whoa, an albino bunny? What does albino mean? So that just means he doesn't have the color pigmentation in his eyes like we do. So instead, we're seeing his blood vessels. Aw, hey, wait a minute. We have a bunny and a tortoise. What if we see if they'll race? Absolutely. Let's try. <laughs> OK. On the count of three, we're going to see if the tortoise or the hare will win the race. On your marks, get set. Go! <laughs> go, Rocky, go! Go, Benji! Who's gonna win? Oh! <laughs> Whoa! It looks like Benji won! <laughs> Whoa, look at these guys! <laughs> I'm here with my good friend, Tori. She's an animal expert, and she knows all about these animals. <laughs> Hi, Tori! Hi, Flippy! <laughs> Whoa, who are these? This is Raven, and this is her baby Puff. Oh, they are both monkey-tailed skinks. Monkey-tailed skinks? Whoa, <laughs> I've never heard of those before. Well, hi, Raven. Hi, Puff. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Would you like to touch Raven on the back? Oh, Check yeah. out those smooth scales. Whoa. Aww. Wow, Raven is so smooth. And look, she looks like a greenish-yellow color. Why are they colored like that? It helps them blend in. Ooh. They like to be very tall up in the trees. They're excellent <laughs> climbers with that monkey tail, these long fingers with the claws. When they're eating leaves and flowers, they don't want any birds to see them. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, and did you see this? It's a monkey tail. Oh, that's probably why they're called monkey tail skinks. <laughs> hey, will you act like a monkey with me? Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job being a monkey. <laughs> but these aren't monkeys. They're only called monkey-tailed skinks. Yeah, they look like excellent climbers. They have their big, long tail, and it looks like they have really long fingers. Whoa! <laughs> Absolutely, that helps them hold on when they're climbing around. They also have very sharp claws. Ooh, <laughs> ooh. You are so cute looking. Oh, and look, there's a hole in the side of her head. What's that for? That's how she hears. Oh, no way. Do you see that? Yeah, that little hole in the side of Raven's head is her ear. <laughs> well, it was so cool to learn all about the monkey-tailed skinks. <laughs> Thanks, Story. No problem, Blippi. I'll see you soon. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> Do you see all these tubes? <laughs> They're so cool because they use air power. <laughs> yeah, air is really important. It has the oxygen that we breathe. <sighs> and it can pull things like a vacuum. <laughs> or push things like a hair dryer. <laughs> That's just awesome. Well, I had such a fun time with you today here at the Orlando Science Center. <laughs> Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Okay, <laughs> here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -I. Philippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Woo! <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. <laughs>
Yeah. This is my best friend. Oh, Blippi, you're my best friend. No, Mika, you're my best friend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we're at Discovery Cube in Los Angeles, California. That's right, and there's so many fun things to explore inside. Yeah, do you want to explore with us? Yeah, yeah. let's go. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, a place you can sit and color. Yeah, and look at these cute chairs. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> They're so little. Yeah, and it's the color blue. One of my two favorite colors. Yeah, hey, what color is mine? Whoa, oh. check it out. Green. Wow, cool. Whoa, I feel really short. Me too. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Wow. I have a bunny I could draw and color in. Ooh, what do you have? I think I'm gonna color this cow. Ooh. Maybe I could do a monkey? <laughs> oh yeah, you should do the monkey. That's so cute. <laughs> Ooh, and uh, let's see. Let's, uh, whoa, whoa, look at him. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> what a cool guy. <laughs> He's okay. really happy to be a construction worker. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll just do the monkey. Okay, You're gonna I'll do, do the, the cow? cow? Yep. All right. Mm. Let's see, I'm gonna make mine a multicolored monkey. I'm gonna make mine a green cow. Okay, all right, I'm gonna draw the color of the nose green. Ooh. Ooh. And then maybe his mouth blue. Whoa. Wow, he's so cool looking, Blippi. Yeah, Woo. let's see. Whoa, green cow. Yeah. You're so creative. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so cool. Look at this. <laughs> Whoa, purple ears. Wow, almost done. <laughs> and I'll just make him all brown. Yeah. What funny looking animals. <laughs> I know. What's your favorite animal? Wow, so cool. Mm -hmm. Wow. Can you imagine if you saw a green cow outside of your car window? <laughs> That's so silly. What would you do? <laughs> I'd be like, Whoa, look, a green cow. I wonder if you make green milk. Whoa, <laughs> green milk. I didn't think about that. I know. All right, do you like my monkey? Do you like my cow? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Good job, Mika. Good job, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa, check this out. Whoa. Wow. A submarine. Yeah, submarines are vessels that go under the water. Yeah. Whoa. It looks like we can go inside. Whoa! Whoa! Hello! <laughs> Hi! Oh, maybe we can peek out the windows and see some ocean creatures. Yeah, let's go! Whoa! Oh. Hello! Hello! Oh, I see a dolphin! You do? Yeah! Oh, look, an octopus! Hello! Whoa! Octopuses change colors! Wow! Whoa! Oh, look at that! A sea Wait. star! Oh, it's so pretty! Whoa! So so much fun. I love the ocean. Me too. <laughs> Whoa, check this area out. Whoa. Blippi, this yeah? looks like a fabulous place to put on a show. Yeah. Let's have the Blippi and Mika show. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Action. Oh, I'm so tired. I've been hiking for hours. Oh, are you okay? I have some water for you over here. Who are you? Oh, I'm just the water lady. Oh. You can call me Mika. Thank you so much. Did you get this from Cheers. that stream? Yep, right next to that green cow. Whoa, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> You're so nice. Aww. Wow, yeah, good job, Mika. <laughs> Let's see what else we have. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, do you know what this is? Yeah! Looks like a veterinarian's office. That's right, see all the animals waiting for checkups? Whoa, looks like a doggy. Aww. Ooh, another doggy. Aww. Look at the cat winking. Meow, <laughs> meow. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Woo, and look right here, a parrot. Ready for the show? Yep. All right. <laughs> okay, where is my next patient? Hmm. Hey, help me, help me, oh, my no. gerbil needs help. Oh no, your gerbil, what's wrong? I don't know, he was like, I'm hungry. He, I am hungry. He did just say he's hungry. I well, know. you're in luck because
because I have some gerbil treats. Yeah. You have to remember to take care of your pets by feeding them. Oh, Frankie, you're not Aww. hungry anymore. I love you so much. No, Frankie, you did a good job at the doctor. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> wow, good Whoa, job, Mika. That, that was amazing. Awesome. Let's see what they sell. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, look, the checkout stand. Oh, yeah, where you can check out your own groceries. Yeah, but first, we need to buy some groceries. <laughs> Let's see what they have. Oh, yum. Ooh. Do you know what this is? Yeah. A pineapple. Oh, yummy. They're so sweet. <laughs> yep. Oh, more healthy food. Yeah. Some loose broccoli. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I love having cheese on top of broccoli. Whoa, that sounds delicious. <laughs> yeah, you should try it. <laughs> and some tomatoes. Ooh, yum. Ooh, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> mm. Oh, look, some apples. Apple. Yeah, these are red apples. Ooh, and look right here, some green apples. Yummy, I like green apples most. Really? Mm -hmm. I like red apples. Oh, cool. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, some orange carrot. Oh, orange? That's one of my two favorite colors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I like carrots. Yeah, they're so crunchy and yummy. And yeah, they're good for your eyes, too. Oh, Flippy. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all of these sweet treats. Yum. <laughs> wow. Look at that chocolate cake. It does look really yummy. I only have dessert after I eat a lot of healthy food, though. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> this grocery store is so cool. Yeah. It has tons of food. Ooh. And look. Condiments. Yeah. yeah. Some ketchup. Mm -hmm. Some mustard. Yum. Yep. <laughs> and here's some bread to make sandwiches. Yum. Ooh. Whoa. Welcome to the seafood. Food section. Whoa! <laughs> Looks like there's some fish in here. Whoa. Trout. Ooh, some Alaska salmon. Wow, Pretty this cool. is a very nice grocery store. Yeah. Oh, yum! <gasps> orange juice. juice. <laughs> <laughs> it's yummy and it's orange. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. Cheese. I love cheese. Cheese, please. <laughs> I love mac and cheese. Ooh, me too. Ooh, yeah. That's really yummy. Ooh. Some milk. Ooh, and some soy milk. Have you ever tried soy milk before? It's <laughs> yummy. There's all different kinds of milk. Yep. Soy milk. Ooh, cow's milk. Ooh, and there even like goat's milk. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I don't see any here though. Nope. <laughs> they must be cool. out. Yep. Oh, the electronic section. Wow, cool! DVDs! Wow! <laughs> I haven't seen these in a grocery store in a long time! I know, DVDs and CDs? Yeah. That is cool! <laughs> <laughs> and things for your yard! Oh, yeah, some hoses, so then we can water our plants. Yep, and a watering can! Wow, cool! Alright, let's keep exploring! Here we go! garbage truck. Yeah, look at it. And here's a bunch of trash on this conveyor belt. Yeah, and it looks like there's also compost here too. Right, and things that you can recycle. Yeah, shall we sort? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, okay. Ooh, yeah, do you see this? Yeah, it looks like a bunch of flowers. Yeah. That's compostable. Good job. Yeah, when you put that in with a bunch of other natural things like food or leaves or branches, then from there, then eventually it turns into soil. <laughs> Ooh. And look, an empty plastic bottle. You can definitely recycle this. <laughs> hmm. Oh, here's another one. Wow, some more leaves. Actually, these are flowers. Whoa, there we go. Ooh, and some leaves. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> here's an empty bottle of milk. Can you recycle this? Yeah! Ooh, bag of old potato chips or an empty bag of chips? You can't recycle that. Put that back for the trash. 
and we have some bark. <laughs> Tree bark. Woohoo! This is awesome. <laughs> Whoa! This? Check this out. What does it look like to you? It kind of looks like a beaker. Yeah, a really big beaker. Yeah, that scientists used to put things in. That's right. Whoa! Yeah. Oh, maybe we should have a beaker dance party. Yes, great idea, Blippi. Yeah! Woohoo! Wow! Woo, check this out over here. What's that? I don't know. Kind of looks like a funnel. Whoa! And look! You must drop these little white balls right here. And let's see what happens. Whoa! 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 Shall we throw multiple balls at once oh, and then yeah. you can take a closer look? That'd be fun. All right. Where are they? Okay, I have two. I have one. All right. Oh, here's another one. Okay. Okay, ready? How many balls are we going to do? One, two, three, four. All right. Let's go. Ready? Three, two, two one, go. go. Oh, whoa, cool. so much together. Mm -hmm. I always have so much fun learning with you, Blippi. I love learning with you, Mika. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Mm -hmm. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I, Blippi. <laughs> Wait a second, Mika, how do you spell your name? Oh, I'll show you. It's M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika! Cool. <laughs> see you again! Bye bye! Bye! See you next time! Hey! It's me, Flippy! <laughs> and today, we're here at the Children's Museum at La Habra in La Habra, California. And I am so excited! Whoa! <laughs> I almost tripped! You know what this is? <laughs> yeah! It's a footprint! A really, really big footprint! <laughs> Hmm, must have belonged to an animal, or maybe even a dinosaur. <laughs> hey, let's follow the footprints. Maybe we can see some animals and dinosaurs today. Come on. Whoa, check it out. It's a nest with dinosaur eggs. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, did you know that? A long time ago, dinosaurs would lay eggs and make nests. Kind of like a bird or a reptile. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, the nest would help keep the eggs all together and nice and safe. <laughs> but with every nest with eggs in it comes a mommy dinosaur. Whoa. <laughs> and this is a really big mommy dinosaur. It's called a Parasaurolophus. Whoa. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. These dinosaurs are amazing! Whoa! <laughs> the Parasaurolophus is part of the Hadrosaur family. Yeah, that means it's duck build. <laughs> and this Parasaurolophus looks like it's wearing some lipstick. <laughs> Ooh, you look very pretty. <laughs> Whoa, did you notice something? Yeah, there's a bone crest on the back of its head. It used to be able to make a honking sound blowing air out of that. Honk, 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 honk. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa. Well, one other thing you should know is Parasaurolophus were very protective of their nest. Whoa, look. 
look at what it is. It's a Triceratops. Hello. <laughs> Do you know why this dinosaur is called a Triceratops? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's because it has three horns on its face. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah. But don't worry. The Triceratops was an herbivore. That means it only ate plants. <laughs> The horns were only to defend itself and its family. <laughs> and Triceratops are so powerful, <laughs> they could even protect themselves from the mighty T-Rex. <laughs> this Triceratops is really sweet and loves some pets and scratches. <laughs> Triceratops are also really, really big and really heavy. Whoa! They can be as big as a school bus. <laughs> and weigh up to five tons. Woo! <laughs> well, I'll see you later. Bye-bye, Triceratops. <laughs> Have you ever wondered how we know what dinosaurs look like? <laughs> well, we learned by discovering fossils. <laughs> yeah, a fossil could be something like a bone, and it gives us clues to what a dinosaur would have really looked like. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. It looks like we're here at a dig site, and maybe we can discover a new dinosaur. <laughs> Whoa, Mir, yeah, see? I have a brush. Instead of using something like a shovel, people use brushes to discover fossils. <laughs> yeah, a brush is nice and gentle. So fuzzy, kind of bristly. And that's so the fossil doesn't get damaged. <laughs> okay, let's start finding some fossils. Whoa, I think I see something. Oh, check it out! Oh, it's a dinosaur fossil! Whoa! Let's see if we can find another. <laughs> oh, whoa! We found one, two fossils! Whoa! <laughs> They're bones! <laughs> it's really fun looking for fossils. Yeah! And people who grow up and they learn about dinosaurs for their job? They're called paleontologists. <laughs> yeah, they are really good at studying dinosaurs. <laughs> I think we should keep looking. Whoa, I think we found a really big one. Brush, brush, brush. <laughs> it's so sandy. <laughs> but thanks to my brush, I'm not damaging the fossil. Mm -mm. Nope, just brushing away the sand. And then, <gasps> whoa. This is so cool. Yeah, a paleontologist who's discovered all these bones, but then put them together, kind of like a puzzle. And that's how we know what dinosaurs look like. <laughs> Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, hello, Mr. Cow. <laughs> Such a sweet cow. Well, I've had so much fun learning about animals like dinosaurs that lived a really long time ago. <laughs> Do you know what animal this is? Yeah, these are two sheep. <laughs> Will you act like a sheep with me? Okay, they go like this. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> they like back scratches. Yeah, sheep are so nice. Hey, wait a minute, cows, sheep, we must be on a farm. <laughs> Let's go see if we can find some other farm animals. Whoa, look at it. <laughs> it looks like it's a chicken coop and chickens like to lay eggs. <laughs> Maybe we can find some eggs. Whoa, look at it. <laughs> some beautiful looking eggs laid by the chickens. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna take two for later. 
Thank you, chickens. <laughs> hey, and this, yeah, this is a rooster. Hmm. His name is Brewster, <laughs> and we're really good friends. He's gonna come along with me today. <laughs> Let's keep exploring the farm. Whoa, do you see what I see? It's a farmhouse. <laughs> and it looks like it's a farmhouse from a hundred years ago. Whoa, <laughs> a lot has changed in 100 years. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let's go inside. See what's changed, come on. Look at this place, it's so old. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. Huh, do you know what this is? This is a really old phone. <laughs> Brewster, do you wanna make a call? <laughs> it looks like that's a yes. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Brewster really likes to dock on the phone. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this is an old sink. Well, today you just turn on the faucet. But with this, <laughs> a long time ago, a hundred years ago, you had to use this pump. And then you could fill up a cup for water or a bowl to boil some noodles. <laughs> anything you need water for. Hey, what if you and I made some tasty lunch? <laughs> Ooh. Now, while we're cooking our food, we need to set the table. Whoa, <laughs> check it out. This beautiful table with a beautiful tablecloth. Hmm. We're gonna need some mugs, <laughs> one for you, one for me, and <laughs> Some plates? <laughs> I think we're all ready to eat. <laughs> Ooh, this looks so tasty. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Check it out. Look at what's behind me. Ooh, <laughs> a nice cozy fireplace. Ah, so cozy. Hmm. <laughs> and a radio. <laughs> this radio is so old. Whoa. Yeah. Let's see if we can turn it on and listen to some music. <laughs> Yeah, I love this song. I just love animals. And I really love dinosaurs. And one of my favorite dinosaurs is the T-Rex. Walk like a T-Rex. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Talk like a T-Rex. Roar, roar, roar. Run like a T-Rex. Clomp, clomp, clomp. Now clap your hands. the walking t-rex with me we're talking big long strides can you see we're heavy stepping stomping along the way we do the walking t-rex every day isn't it so much fun pretending that we're a big scary tyrannosaurus rex let's think of all the things they can do and let's copy the actions walk like a t-rex Stomp, stomp, stomp. Talk like a T Rex. Roar, roar, roar. Run like a T Rex. Clomp, clomp, clomp. Now clap your hands. Let's move some more. Now, can we do the T Rex jaw with our hands? We stretch our arms wide open, that is the plan. And then we snap them shut and open again. It's so much fun when we are playing pretend. <laughs> Good job being a T-Rex. This is so much fun. Let's sing it again. Walk 
Pretty scary T Rex. <laughs> that was really fun. <laughs> but now, I think I need a little bit of a break. Ooh, maybe we can take a break on the rocking chair. <laughs> <sighs> Whoa. Whoa. It looks like you could still have fun even a hundred years ago. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome! We saw so many animals and dinosaurs. We even got to see some fossils and learn what a paleontologist does. Whoa! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>